shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might destroy him who holds the power of death, that is the devil. Kum te geme amokozi angut. 
Let us sit. For everything, there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to burn, a time to plant, a time to weep, a time to mourn, a time to cast away stones. A time to embrace. A time to seek. And a time to lose. A time to keep. And a time to cast away. A time to rend. And a time to sue. A time to keep silent. And a time to speak. We all stand. Sisi sote to simame. Tunapo sikia neno kutoka kwa zaburi. The psalm. Is Psalm 23, Zaburi Ishirini Natatu. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, so is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Amen. Do not posimama hivyo. Tuweze kuangalia ratiba. Uh, uh, karatasi ya mwisho ama the last page tuimbe kijaluo kidogo areto ka awoth 
hiyo. I'm pressing on the upward way. Areto ka wotho eyo madhi malonda lo duto kala mo pi le mondo ruot o tinga malo mo loyo ruot tinga malo monda chung kai ewe cheni duto meting ama lo moloyo abet kapa koin pilem junya okom siko epi kama chichgi luoro nitie to adwaro loyo gite e malami tinga malo ruoth tinga ma lo monda chung kai ewe cheni duto meting ama lo moloyo abet kapa koin pilem adwaro lo yogik me pin ma saitani di wonda go loch mwa lo yo go pinyen ye genona ni kwomi pile atinga ma lo monda chung kai ewe cheni duto meting ama lo moloyo abet kapa koin pilem adwaro be domo tegno yaka ane morie polo e momio podala mo ruot singa ma lo mo lo yo ruot singa ma lo mo nda chung kai ewe cheni duto meting ama lo mo lo yo ab kapa koin pile jipigie makofi kwa sababu wewe si mjaluo na umeimba kijaluo <laughs> amen bwana yesu asifiwe tuweze kupata nafasi ya kukaa tunachukua fursa hii kuwakaribisha kila mmoja katika ibada yetu ya leo ya kumsindikiza maana sisi pia tutafuata ndugu yetu Eric Opio Otambo ambaye ametuacha akienda kwa muumba ambaye alimleta humu duniani lakini muumba amesema ya kwamba wakati umefika wa kurudi kwake sisi yetu ni kusema ni asante kwa maisha yake ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kuwakaribisha tuweze kuketi tukiwa huru katika hii parokia ya mtume Paulo tunapojisikia tuko huru katika hii diocese ya Maseno West. Uh, we want to go to a session of tributes and we will be guided by the chairman. That is the name I can remember, chairman. Where is chairman? <laughs> Pigie chairman Makofi. Uh, ataita wale ambao watanena 
tukienda hivyo hivyo tunaona weather si mzuri sana hali ya anga inatisha uh, tungependa tuweze kufanya yale ambayo tunaweza fanya kwa wakati unaofaa ili tuweze kumaliza na wengine wetu waaze uh, safari kwa wale ambao wako na safari santeni karibu hamjambo bwana asifiwe e, kwa majina naitwa john odindo mkaji wa mombasa na nilichaguliwa kama chairman e, kule mombasa wa kuongoza e, mazishi ya marehemu Eriko Pio Tambo Tumekuja hapa kama team kubwa lakini kabla hatujaanza ningeomba eh e, bradhake marehemu ambaye anaitwa Shem Odur akaribishe e, waombolezaji rasmi katika kikao hiki. Asante sana. Karimburi nyinyi nyote. Uh, welcome you all. Uh, uh, wageni kutoka Mombasa na watu wa, wa game na warafiki wote ambao wamefika hapa leo um, uh, to begin with i would like to thank god almighty for today uh, we have not gathered like this here in game for a long time the last time we were here tulimleta mama yetu narea akelo tukamzika hapa and we have not been back for a long time so uh, this is it's great it's a great day today god has been very kind to all of us uh, god is gracious god is 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 good it's good to all of us uh, it looked after our life it has enabled us to travel from all over kenya from mombasa day and night and to be here today and i think we need to thank god for that opportunity asanteni sana let's uh, clap for, for god <laughs> secondly um i would like to thank akinyi nyakisumu uh, eric's wife um when they told me eric ame ameaga Uh, I didn't know what to do and because I know people are buried in Utange and Bamburi many people have been buried there and we thought it was the easiest option and I talked to Patrick Otambo and uh, he consulted his mother and Nyakisumo said no they must come to game that was very brave tumpatie a club it was very brave because uh, uh last month mwezi we had just lost um, our younger sister in uh, in uh, Uganda Mbale uh, Wakiso country county and it's not a month since we buried her so this came very unexpected uh, nikamuliza kinyi sasa tutafanyaje uh, you have resources how can can we get, there's nothing in game Uh, Patrick can akaniambia that uh, friends and the church and the people will help so uh, uh, i was stunned i didn't know how we are going to do it and they insisted i'm glad they did because this is the only connection our family can still have to game if we, we didn't bring eric here this land would be gone you know kenyans with land so I thank Akinyi nya kisumo that was very brave uh, for many years I've always asked uh, my brother younger brother Eric we should build something here where grandchildren visitors can come and, and pass through here and remember Northambo and uh, our, our mother Nerea Kelo nya Lego uh, but it was never to be so Thank you very much uh, Akinyi for insisting and it's a reality we are here today so 
That, that's very good. Secondly, I would like to thank family friends, particularly from Mombasa and the church, church leadership in Mombasa, uh, the congregation. You made this possible with a hospital bill of over half a million and then uh, funeral expenses. I just didn't see how we are going to do this. And you made it possible, and we are here today. Asantini Sana for doing this to a particular club. <laughs> that includes Eric's friends. In Nairobi, uh, we as a family, today, most of the family is here. Um, those who are able to come, Mary, my eldest sister, is in Mombasa, but she's not healthy. She couldn't come for this gathering. And uh, then I'm the second. Elizabeth, who follows me, is here. Nyayala, you better stand. Let them acknowledge your presence. And uh, the one who follows uh, Elizabeth, uh, we know. Beatrice passed on 1971. She was married in, uh, in Kapsabet uh, to Noah Shreve in Kapsabet. Noah was a policeman in Yala. By the time I was going to Alliance, so and uh, his children, uh, the four children, are grown up. Rebecca is here to represent uh, uh, my sister and the father. Uh, the other children did were not able to make it, but uh, uh, they've done well. Yeah. And uh, then I have, uh, I think, Rispa. Rispa is here with us. And I love let them see you. Uh, she's come all the way from Switzerland. She lives in Switzerland uh, to see Eric's burial. Uh, yeah. And then there is um, uh, Zainab Akot. Akot Ali Olewa Mombasa. At the moment, she's in America. And Isa is the eldest son, yes. Uh, he's worked in Saudi Arabia for many years, but he's here to represent the mother. And I talked with her, she had heart and operation, but now she's feeling a little bit better. If she was in Kenya, she would have been here today. I know uh, Zainab is Jawatahenya. Jawatahenya. Um, then we have a, a, a Chieng. A Chieng is the last born. Uh, Chieng is the last born. She's Mombasa, she couldn't make it here today. Uh, the San Pat Otambo, I, I think he's there. And, yeah. And uh, they're all here. Yes. There we are. We are well represented. So, uh, the family, we are here to see this occasion and to grace the occasion. Um, I, am I going to have some other time to talk about Eric? Or we can finish it, fi finish it here? Finish yours? Finish it. If possible, because but I can't finish now. Eric uh, <laughs> is the only brother I ever had, and they, you know, being a peer, they were two of them. They also don't go. Eric was born soon after the Second World War. The World War ended in 1945, and uh, about three months when they were old, there was acute shortage of sugar. There was no sugar. We had been to Nairobi. We were used. We couldn't drink uji without sugar or tea without sugar. So my mother left very early in the morning to go and look for sugar. We were left at home in uh, it was a big homestead with about uh, five, six uh, families. And um, that was about four or five in the morning. So we woke up the other children. We went out to play. And Opio was uh, more rickney. He was a little bit uh, fast. He woke up early, so he came out. But Odongo was still asleep. And mother had put uh, Nyangile, you know, the lamp, the tin, tin uh, lamp. And it was left burning on top of uh, the bed. So when Odongo woke up, he pulled the net. The lamp fell on him, and he got burnt uh, seriously. So he was rushed to Maseno Hospital, and he couldn't survive. So three months, he, he passed on. So Eric has been the only brother I have. So we value him, and uh, uh, 
all his life has been shown here, uh, where he went to school. Uh, um, Eric was a, a good man. You never had him abuse anybody or fight anywhere all his life. He lived with me briefly before he, he came to Bamburi and he did apprenticeship at Bamburi. I also attended the Polytechnic, Mombasa Polytechnic in electrical technology. Yeah. And he valued his family. He spent all the time. Uh, he was a peaceful man. Uh, he enjoyed the family. One or two people took advantage of him, and particularly Matatu drivers. Eric used to operate Matatus. I told him many times that he would never make money except the Matatu, uh, Matatu numbers. Matatu owners never make money. You lose. So, but he stuck to his Matatu and, uh, until he couldn't keep it anymore. It's only a few years ago when he left it. The second one I knew was uh, he had a plot in Utangi. He built a house and he get, rented it to somebody. And the guy started a school. And for something more than 10 years, he never paid rent. And Eric went to court and tried and tried and we didn't know what to do. Eventually he told me it was sorted out. I hope it was. But the guy stuck there. I told Eric, it, let him just go. Forget about the rent. Let him go take over so that he can rent it to somebody else. I think he achieved about a few years ago. He managed to get the man out. Yeah, but otherwise he was a good brother and uh, I would just say that May God grant him uh, peace, whatever his lies today. Um, uh, we don't know Tambo, uh, and Nerea Kelo, Nyalego. Uh, grandfather was Mariko Hayanga, Borja Leng. He started school in Nyamninia. Mariko was always cheerful. And his wife, uh, uh, our grandmother was uh, Amwano. Amwano Nyairo, my father always praised, he would say his, his mother was Amono Nyairo. Nyairo is very near Malanga, a town next after Malanga. That's where my, my grandmother came from. Yeah. Uh, other, others came after that, but uh, that is where Eric came from. Yeah. So thank you very much, everybody, for helping us uh, escort Eric. Um, it's very kind of you to come and join us. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Shem Udur, for giving us a brief history of the late uh, Eric. We'll also hear from Apondi Ogada. Apondi Ogada. Amefika, the sister. watumishi wa Mungu na Wakristo walioko hapa kwa siku hii ya leo na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu hamujamboni hamujambo tena sikujua kama nitaweza kusimama mahali hapa kwa saa hii na kwa sababu hiyo sikuweza kujiandikisha kuja kuongea lakini kwa ajili ya kuitwa Nitasema mambo machache, mawili ama matatu kumuhusu shemeji yangu Eric. Wakati mimi nikiolewa kwa lile boma ya Mariko Hayanga. Nilipata huyu shemeji yangu Eric akiwa anaishi Mombasa. Mimi nilikuwa ninaweza kukaa mahali panaitwa Gede. Na kwa sababu hiyo kwa ajili ya upendo ya kati ya yeye na ndugu yake wakati alipompata mpendo wake Grace hangeweza kumpeleka hata kwa Shem ama kwa Elizabeth alikimbia naye mpaka kwangu huko Gede akaweza kunikabidhi huyu mrembo akaniambia wewe kama mama yetu sasa utaweza kukaa na huyu mrembo 
mpaka wakati atakapokuzoea kisha nitakuja nimchukue mwenyewe niliweza kujihimiza na kujikakamua kadri ya uwezo wangu kadri ya mzazi wakati huo hata mtoto nilikuwa sina bado lakini nilimuona kama mtoto wangu kifungua mimba na nikaweza kumdekeza na kumubembeleza ili shemeji yangu awe atapata mtu wa kuishi naye na nilimshukuru kwa ajili hiyo kwa sababu kitambo mtu achukue kipenzi chako kipenzi chake kukukabidhi wewe inamaanisha ya kwamba anakuweka maanani Eric alikuwa mpole. Eric alikuwa si mtu wa mambo mengi. Yeye ukimuona atakupa smile. Na hiyo smile itakuwa imekamilisha kila kitu. Hata ukianza kumgombanisha, Eric huwa unipigii simu, Eric huwa sijui ufanyi nini, Eric wewe ni mvivu, Eric wewe ulizaliwaje, yeye atakupa smile na atakuacha hivyo. Anakuambia ah dhano ipo njonya katho. Ah you are we gathao. Eh ininge no ininge loso anonyo langa tumawache ne tena. Eh na atakuacha hivyo. Na kwa ajili hiyo vile ambavyo mmesikia mimi ni Rispa Pondi. Mimi nakaa pale nyamninia. Baba ya Eric ndiye aliyetangulia kuzaliwa kabla hajazaliwa baba nguvia na tumeweza kuishi hivyo kwa upendo ingawaje wao wako huku na sisi tuko huko chochote kinapotokea kwa tunajumuika pamoja kama watu wa familia moja na tunakaa hivyo na kupigana na vita ambavyo vimeweza kutupata na kushukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya hiyo na kwa ajili ya hiyo ninaweza kuwashukuru nyinyi nyote wageni marafiki sana sana wapendwa kutoka Mombasa tunawashukuru zaidi ya mno kwa ajili ya kutusaidia kubeba huu mzigo kutoka Mombasa mpaka mkatuletea tukaweza kumuona Eric akiwa na smile yake ya kawaida e, angeweza kuzikwa huko mimi kama Rispa nisingeweza kufika huko kwa sababu siku hizi gharama ya nauli imepanda na vile vile hata Mombasa nikienda naweza potea Mubarikiwe kwa hayo eh, Asante sana asante sana eh, Wewe sipotea you are still young yeah, You are still very young Sema utapotea hiyo una wale wadogo watasemaje Sa, <laughs> Sasa tutaenda kwa upande wa sisters eh, bibi ya marehemu ambaye ni brother nimeandika brother hapa siju kama amefika Esther Esther yuko Felista Feli, Esther kwanza nitamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutupatia siku hii ya leo kwa kuturuhusu ili tuweze kupatikana siku hii ya leo na wasalimu nyote kwa jina la Yesu amjambo e, kwa ajili ya kanisa takatifu ninasema ni asante kwa kujitolea ili muweze kuwa hapa kwa shughuli hii ya leo kwanza mimi ni dadake Grace Tunafatana ni mimi mkubwa wake. Huyu shemeji yangu Eric. Saa zile nimesimama hapa nikikumbuka ati Eric sasa hawezi kunipatia smile yake. Nasikia lakini najipa moyo. Kwa sababu siku ikifika hatuwezi. Kila mtu ameandikiwa siku yake. 
ikifika hatuwezi kukaepuka Eric alimpata dadangu kupitia kwangu nilikuwa naishi kisauni hapo kisauni nilikuwa neighbor wa dadake Margaret ambaye sasa ni marehemu Sikujua kama Margaret alikuwa pengine angemtafuta dadangu ili awe wifi yake lakini mpango wa Mungu inakuwa hivyo tulikuwa sisi tushatoka Mombasa sasa tuko transfer Nairobi nikasikia ya kwamba Margaret ndiye niliyemjua Eric sikumjua nikasikia ya kwamba dadangu ameolewa na ndugu yake Eric Nimeshukuru kwa muda ambao wameishi na dadangu wakati huo wote nilipokuwa nikienda huko Hiyo nyumba wote wawili ni watu ambao hawana ma story mimi ni mtu wa story lakini Eric tulikuwa tunaweza tukapiga story dadangu ataongea tu kidogo mara shapotea kwa jikoni lakini Eric ndiye alikuwa mtu wangu wa story nikisimama hapa nitaongea pia kwa niaba ya mamangu hajiwezi ni mgonjwa kwa kitandani lakini Eric alikuwa kama mtoto wake. Eric alimchukua kama mama yake na tumeshukuru kwa muda huo wote. Mama akiwa mgonjwa tunashikiria tunashirikiana. Dadangu ananipigia simu kwa sababu mimi niko nyumbani. Mimi naishi nyumbani. Basi tunakoordinate na tunaona vile tunaweza kumsaidia mamangu. Sijui nilisema vile Eric ameenda. Sijui kama mama pengine lakini sioni lakini yote ni ya Mungu ni mpango wa Mungu kwa sababu it is almost four years same date same month limzika bwanangu na sasa namzika shemeji yangu na hao ndio walikuwa tegemeo la mamangu lakini la muhimu najua Mungu ndio tegemeo Mungu ndiye anaweza tutamkosa lakini najua Mungu atachukua pale pake kwa dadangu nilikuja hapa Sunday siku ambapo anti Elizabeth na dadangu walifika nilipofika nilikuwa na nia ya kuru, kwenda na dadangu Mombasa lakini jinsi nilivyomkuta Elizabeth nikasema siendi Mombasa tutakaa na we hapa tukashughulika nia yangu ilikuwa dadangu arudi Mombasa lakini kilichofanyika saa hizi isimfanyikie dadangu tena iwe ni awe Mombasa kukitokea jambo anaingia kwa boma lake na hiyo ndio ombi langu na naomba pia nyinyi munisaidie kuomba hilo ndilo ombi langu. Noah, Patrick, Nancy na Jane na Beatrice wao wanaweza kwenda mahali popote. Lakini nyinyi ni watu wa game. Tafadhali ili boma litasimama kwa ajili yenu. Muwe mushirikiane kama Otambos. Musiwe na katika kila boma pengine utaenda mahali useme eh hey, huko basi ni hivi na hivi wote walioko hapa mijini yote iko na maneno lakini watu hukaa wakazungumza na mambo yakawa sawa lakini mkimjua Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye baba yenu Eric alimjua boma hili litasimama eh? boma hili litasimama kwa jina la Yesu mimi niliposikia ati shemeji yangu anazikwa Mombasa Dadangu alinipigia kilia. Nikamwambia usilie. Tutaomba na tutafunga kwa ajili hiyo na shemeji yangu atakuja. Mungu ndiye mwenye fedha na ye ndiye anayeweza kuingia katika mioyo ya marafiki na relatives na kila mtu kwa sababu ya ile upendo shemeji yangu alikuwa nayo. Shemeji anakuja. Basi dadangu naomba uanze safari mpya ufikirie kanisa 
kanisa hapo ndio utapata dada zako na ndugu zako sio wewe tu hata nyinyi Patrick Noah kanisa hiyo biblia unaiona hapo ina mambo yote itakuambia vile unaweza kuishi na watu nitaongea mengi lakini kwa hayo naomba haya ambayo nimezungumza nitazidi kuongea na, ndu, na, na dadangu na mnisaidie kuomba kwa ajili ya watu wetu hawajaingia wako njiani lakini hapa dada zangu aliingia jana na kuna bibi ya ndugu yetu mkubwa nyumbani ambaye sasa ni representative wa mama yangu si mtamruhusu aongee kidogo si mama angezungumza ange na waomba dada zangu na wasimame tu wa wave na pia kuna kijana wangu na my sister in law ametoka tu huko south nyanza mimi nimeolewa huko south nyanza unapita tu ukienda kisi unapita ringa mikai uendi uyugis hapa ober secondary primary boarding and secondary hapo ndio kwetu chunguru mondo ufua chunguru mondo ufua ero urukamano kapo katie koto dagone nitiere yura moroka e ginya thi moroka miluongo ni john ya wada gombo mondo nyasayo medu chunyu no kaka utimo ne nyamera ni utim ne ngato wanto onge gima wanyalo miyo u to nyasayo bro chulo u amen hallelujah ruth yeso paki Anma chung nyinga Kristo Polodia anyasa kwa kamnara mutedo kajulu ana wacho dholuo akia Kiswahili Poru wewe wachi dholuo mangeyo ne Abiro ka kaka ngat mobiro chung kaka min nyako to kan min nyako monyolo nyako min nyako tuo waya ma jacho jao de to Mano waya nyami ni kwara. Mwanyu walgi kwara hii cha chiel. Aleluya. Koro ne chuno ni nyaka ngata chiel maduong. Gido luo kungeyo. Ni nyaka nebi. Mwuchu mkari mama. Ruto paki. Ema nyo chuna mwondo miyabi. Kaka janyuolo maru waya. Ongigi mangeni mwanyalo wacho ni kecha anto orakia. Toka nene. Tojo modo ngutangete. Koro gimada wachi kume mangeo maduongo onge. Agoe rokamano nejo game. Nyo kwa donjo turuwa kwa maber. Tunduwana nukuchunko duwa maber. Wago nwe rokamano. Rokamano mugiki madu wago yoni rokamano waya nyame nikwara. Oyu do dala ne. Oyu do rangaye. Maka wabiro tuwa donje. Sasa ya muabiro. Kwa wachi nitie tuwa lora ngaye tiri tuwa donjo. Kenda yudo kaa nkodi si meji mara mawoyi. Anya lobi dota donjo ode. Aleluya. Mane moro maana gode ngi mana. Agone nya sayo kama mana mando timu mano. Ruthi yeso mando romu kodi mana. Sante sana wenye hawajaelewa luga ya kijaluo. Tabidi mjue luga nyingi Kenya. Sasa mimi najua luga saba. E, naombo brother ke, e, e, Esther dakika moja uwezie watu uwasalimie brother ke. dakika moja tu haleluya mrembe uru mrembe kendo asago ne nya sairo kamano duchi makaguno Motelo nwa. Enyasi mare Eric. Baba Jane. Wago ni nyasai roka manu maduong. Nyasai utimo nwa onu maduong. Nyasai utimo nwa onu.
to uno ne otimore nikech Eric Eric nje en ngat nyasaye en ngamu luro nyasaye omiyo an gi geno ni weche duto miwacho kar kaendi gin adieri nitie jomoko ma ka ngato setho to weche ma giwacho gin weche mopogore gi timbe mane ngano time piny ka to mano nyasacho ma jadolo ok dwar omiya go nwero kamano to kendo kamedo kendo nyasaye ber nikech tani be wane nyasi mar pasaka koro ngato no go ma nyasaye bro luongo odiochinge ma wantie gi en ngat ma chunye ndi donjo e polo nyasaja dolo obed kodu kod an bende nyinga ilungo ni godono mundo luoch an ya kajulu maloriat kaja eru kamana bwana sifiwe bwana sifiwe sana kwa majina naitwa Lazarus Uchengo Luoch mimi mtu wa Kajulu kwa sahi nachukua sahani kumgia dadangu pole na familia yao wakae tuna hiyo roho tuko pamoja Asanteni sana asanteni sana kwa hayo mnayo tunenea naonekana mzee kwa mimi nitatoa yangu baadaye nitaongea baadaye lakini naonekana mzee na mama hawakuwa watu wa, ma, wa maneno mengi walikuwa nasema one word and that's all ndio naona watu hata sasa hizi wametulia vizuri listening keenly yes sasa tunakuja kwa watoto e, tutaanza na if they are strong na ningeomba wasaidiwe tutaanza na msichana wake firstborn msichana wa Nancy atasema kitu kidogo nimerekebishwa kidogo hapa na eh, guest of honor naitwa bwana Oyola naambiwa last born kama ako na nguvu party kweni.com yo sembe watu wantu najua nyinyi generation ya saizi mko moto moto sawa ya sema kitu kidogo nguvu bado iko bwana Yesu asifiwe nipenda eh, kuwasalimia nyote na niwakaribishe yala tunafurahi kuwaona umetutia nguvu kuanzia siku ya kwanza mpaka hadi siku ya leo ya mwisho imefika tunasema asante kwa nyote ndoa hiyo tu sina mengi huyo kwa jina ya mtaa najulikana DJ eh niona bila mazika mai yes unaona we call them the dot com generation nashika mic hivi si hatuwezi so madam you comfortable jen ndio useme kitu bari zenu nyote mimi naitwa jen ni mtoto wa pili wa mzee Eric na washukuru nyote kwa kufika kwenu leo hapa tunawashukuru tuna wote wageni kutoka Mombasa hata wale kutoka hapa yala kwa maana kama sio nyinyi kutushika mkono hatungeweza kufanya haya yote pia ningependa kusema kuwa mzee alikuwa mtu mkarimu sana na alikuwa mcheshi mpenda watu na alikuwa mtenda kazi tungependa kushukuru kumshukuru Mungu kwa maisha yake aliyoishi alijitolea sana kwa wote haswa sisi wanawake wa, watoto wake na hata kwa jamaa zake kwa jumla hata kwa, kwa, kwa wengi alikuwa alikuwa mtu mzuri sana na tungependa tungependa kudedicate hii siku iwe kama siku yake ya kusherekea maisha yake na washukuru nyote 
Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Nancy. Nancy alikuwa mjana wa mzee wa pamoja na kanisani nilisikia pastor akisema ndio alikuwa very close very close to the father karibu Dambi zangu kuziosha kwa ke Yesu na simama ni ye mwambani salama ni ye mwambani salama ni ye mwambani salama Greetings everyone Uh, my name is Nancy Adiambo Otambo, first daughter of Eric Opio Otambo. Um, <sighs> there's a lot that I want to say about my dad, but um, <sighs> I can't say really that much. All I want to say is just I want to appreciate him. He has been the best father that I've ever known. <sighs> and no one... Yangu rafiki yangu wewe katika safari yangu tatembea na wewe pamoja na wewe Pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu sambea na wewe Well growing up um I know somehow I feel like I know I was uh, how can I say? Uh, I would say I was stubborn. Not like a bad stubborn, but yeah. But whenever I would ask my dad anything, he would not fail to, like, do it for me, you know. Now, it's now up to me to do my best. And I am the one now responsible to take care of mom and my siblings. It's not going to be easy, but I know that God is with us. I believe in God, our Father. And I know that my father is in a better place now. A man who was always, never missed church service. I would once in a while go along with him for fellowship when I have time, if I'm around. And even coming here was by God's grace. Because I didn't even know I was going to get permission from my company to come and see my father for the last time se safari ni eleu ni chukue lango ni vingu ni Pamoja, pamoja, na wewe. Pamoja, pamoja, na wewe. Lango ni, bingu ni, ningi ye na wewe. And also, I have my. 
stepsister. She's in the U.S., but she hasn't been able. She couldn't make it. But I think the son is here who will represent and the sister. And uh, all we have to do is just to thank God because what I've learned, like what happened to Job in the Bible when he lost, he had faith in God still. Like you just, you just have to give thanks to God. God gives and God takes. So we are all on the same journey. Grieving, it's normal. There's a time to cry and time to laugh. But then we just have to appreciate his life and remember all the memories that we had with him. That's all I can say for now. Thank you. We are Naitwa Nancy. Ni ile moyo ya kukumbuka how close alikuwa na babake na I'm again courage. Ujue it's not easy to lose somebody mwenye mnashindaka pamoja na ndio akuja aende eh, kazi yake ya nje walikuwa na babake na akapeleka maombi kanisani pastor will testify that atakapokuja hapa so wacha tuite kijana mkubwa mwenye ameachwa boma eh na believe pia ni dot com eh akuja aseme 1 2 bwana noa boma ni yako Na Yesu asifiwe Kwa majina na ito anuwa utambu Mindo watatu katika Familia mzee Eriko Pio Lakini kwa vijana mindo wa kwanza Mini kependa kusema sante Kwa kila mtu wapa Kwa kanisa Kwa familia utambu Na familia mama pia Mama Grace Na pia wana game Kwa kufika hapa siku ya leo na kutupatia pole. Hii safari haikuwa raisi. Mara kwanza likuwa tunafikiri atutaweza. Lakini mlitushika mkono na sahi. Natumai tumefika. Natumai, na naomba pia mtuzidi kutushika mkono sabu. Hata tukimpumzisha mzee bado. Kutakona changamoto bado. So likuwa naomba mtuombe. Tutie moyo, sabu kama kijana kwanza si raisi. Kuna mambo mengi, inafaa ni jue. Na... Siezi ya mini kuma mzee ya betuwaja, lakini mapenzi ya mungu ayo. Elikito mbo naomba ni asante. Na tazidi kwa siliana. Shukra. E, kijana. E, wendo tumechia boma. Kwa hivyo. You are now in charge. Si raisi. Na utajua bado. Bidi ujikakamua. Maombi tutaweka mbele. Kanisa hiko hapa. Na nakumbuka kanisa hiki. Tuambia kule bamburi. Ya kuamba. Mchukue biblia. Mfuate. E, steps za mze Pale juu kiangalia kuna vitu viwili Kuna membership card Na badge Kwa hivyo Hiyo iko na maana yake So buwana noa e, Utafuata steps na the other family members eh? Now e, Tumemalisa upande wa Watoto Tungeomba sasa marafiki Tutaanza Kama kuna rafiki Toka Mombasa Mwenye tulisafiri pamoja, hakona jambu moja mbili angeweza kusema kuhusu the late Eric Opio. Kuna yeyote angeongea Tim Mombasa? Ok. E, yala, kuna yeyote? Huku bara ya kwao, kuna rafiki yake. Mwenye amekuja pamoja na mwenye yako hapa angeweza kusema jambo moja mbili. Yes. Yes. 
Mrs. Omondi, nasemekana nasasema jambo moja mbili. to our canon family of your tambos and the mourners may you greet you in the name of the lord praise the lord to kutendereza i am Beatrice sabiero mondi christ jesus is my personal savior we come from siaya and we are the siganders the siganders are just coming this the siganders are cousins to this family of the tambos Eh, Mama Margaret Ajuang and Nerea were two sisters, and we are sisters in law. We come with we came with Pamela. Pamela, can you greet Pito? Dizo and Ibu are just coming. They are just on the way. They will talk. We came to say Paula to you. Eh, we are family, especially Elizabeth. She has been with us all the time, all the days at the Sigandas. We, we only know Elizabeth very well. But Eric also we know. The rest of you, we have just seen you here. <laughs> and we are close families. Can't you see that we are close families? Uh, we are going to know each other at the time of the end of this funeral. And we will just unite together. Paul to my, my nyeka. Nyeka. Mosa inya. Ero kamanu kumkelo ikwekelo Eric. Mundo ikika. Wabe nyo wa seyi wak, mana kakajo moko yuak. Na ya, wakaka eri kubonjo gama ber, eri kuangeyo shemi ya muakia. Tokubie mundo ike kama mundo wa yuwa gen kech mumba satu boru. Thank you. God bless you. Dizo is also coming here with, with Ibu. They will talk. Thank you. Santi sana, santi sana. E, sasa tunaingia e, sayamu nyingine. Very briefly, tutaita e, Bwano Yola. Bwano Yola amefika this morning toka Mombasa niacha naye kule umetusaidia sana wacha aseme jambo moja mbili alafu akete asante sana for the church SK Mombasa church at home wana game wote welo from other places good morning all morning again today is a very good day it is good because uh, the person lying today here was a very humble man. And I can say before the pastors, before the Rev, that the kind of heart Mr. Pio was having at a sisi wenyewe tufiki huko. And I know even the children and my friends here, Yaki is a bit too deep. Now I'll talk as a friend, Mr. was a good friend of mine, as I'll talk, kama babangu, Mze was like my father when I'm in Mombasa. Mze was a father figure to me. Where we stayed in Mombasa, Mze was my immediate neighbor. And uh, as a neighbor, we became so close. The closeness that uh, you can't imagine. And I can say to these people today, Mze Eric Otambo was a very, very good man and a very humble. Now I know, if it is a matter of going to heaven, pastors, I think he's one of those who are going there straight without a lot of things. He's going, I'm telling the truth. Mze or Eric Otambo could not fight with anybody over anything. Where we will uh, Brother Mesema Hashem? Even the case of that house in Bamburi there, it was there. It took time. We tried by so many means to solve the case. But finally, he got away. Many people have offended Mr. Tambo. Very many. I know some of them. When you know I offend badly, some people even took part of Barabarayake. But he took it simple. He said, no, these are the wild things. Quavo, no fight. He left those things. As a neighbor, 
We stayed with the Tambo very humbly. He was a good man. And to Mama Jen, church has prayed. Kindly, kindly, you are, and with the children, Nancy, uh, Noah, Jane, and Patrick, kindly follow the footsteps of Mze, and you'll find everything so easy. Tuweke mungu pamoja, tuweke mungu mbele, and with God, everything is possible. I know that from here, kama uko na Bible, you look for a Bible. Kama una njia kufata Bible, you'll go to the reverend of ACK Bamburi, will give you a Bible. They will find a way of giving you a Bible, so that you follow the footsteps of Mzee. Otherwise, when Mzee died, at one time, it was like a story that Mzee Amelala. After one week, we, we were somehow standard. And saying, okay, now, Mzee Amelala, it's the first week is gone. Uh, hey, we must go home. And there was some fear that, oh, but uh, expensive, oh, bill too high, transport too high. But I told the committee members that, you see, as a law, number one, Mzee must go home anyway. Number two, we'll find a way, because Mzee was a man of God. And therefore, all his lines will go straight. Now, after that moment, eh, I want to thank the SEK Church, Bamburi. Those people came with a big momentum. And it is the church who actually encourages the community there. The church could come, the church could come to the home. The church could offer prayers. The church could encourage the people. And the church, SK, you played a very big role. It is your prayers that opened all the ways and kila kitu ikafugulika to kaingia kwa hii line. So, church is very important. We, had, we knew Mzee would come here. You, there's no doubt about that. But those, uh, there's how it was, people were doubting. And I told the committee that, you see, don't doubt because home we must go. Oh, when I say my lewe lewalo, we have to go home. So, to change pesa, to pange pange, mambo ita kwa sawa. And then with the prayers, I think all went well. Finally, I want to thank uh, all our neighbors in Bamburi for standing with Mze. Wherever we came and organized a meeting and we discussed and agreed, we did what we had to do. No neighbor complained, no neighbor did anything wrong, and I think Mize was like our umbrella. Well, in Bamburi there, where we stay, if there's something to be discussed, we could talk to Mize Kwanza. Mize, where we look for uh, Mr. Charles, look for Odiambo, inform them, and then inform us, and we agree. It was so easy. Actually, Mize was the one who was uniting us together. He could just organize, call me, call Mr. Dindo, call Charles, call Odiambo, and feel like it is done well. Now that Mr. is gone, Bona Chairman and Mr. Charles, we need to get how to move on from now. Mr. is not there now. So when you want to look for me, you must just look for me directly. I had a quite easy evil. So whatever is going to affect us, we unite together and we'll move on together. Otherwise, for uh, the family, Mr. Noah, Boma Ndiyo Yapa, Apa Ndiyo even us in Mombasa, we normally go home there. There we go. After two, three months, or after one year, we go. Please, where when uh, my brother here, uh, Patrick, you hold get all of Mama. Make sure that Mama is not disturbed by anybody. Protect her. Cover her. If it is yes, it is yes. If it is no, it is no. Forget about any other thing. Stand with your mother and tell the truth. And let no one anywhere play around with your mother over anything. Noah Yuniako, make sure you start with her 
and provide for her everything kama chakula na kila kitu tafuta mpa kule umesikia no joke now now mzee was there mzee could do so many things and you are not even there you don't know now mzee is not there noah and patrick make sure that you plan for mama feeding program coming home doing everything paying bills without her asking anybody if you do that your mom will live for longer time if you don't do that we will come here and you see now do that to uh, nancy and jen kindly be close to your mother be close to your mother make sure that everything is going on well and normally encourage her protect her and do what you can do to your mother even after, after the burial do not go away and leave her just like that talk to her well advise her well whatever you can do do to her well and that's what will keep your mother well others mama jen now that you're alone uh ita kwa raisi you just need to be strong and uh, know your boundary know your line and stick to your lane in life kuna lanes me i knew this thing when my father died some two years ago so when mzee yuko kuna lanes za kutembea so just stick to your lane and no one will cross your lane otherwise you game it is good you came now those who came from mombasa thank you for taking your time thank you for taking your time to come and witness where mzee was coming from and witness the final end of the mzee otherwise uh, to the church and the pastors and rev thank you so much for taking your time thank you for the encouragement thank you for the uh, support and one day one day i know i will come with mr dindo here you will look for me we go to church you is my neighbor also so when you look for me we will go to ack bamburi so if you don't see me then he has not look for me that is it thank you so much hey nikubaya nikubaya aona tunaendelea mimi yangu itafika ya kuongea. Tungeomba kwa one of the kazi eh, bwana Charles Wekesa. Kuna kitu ya kusema? Asimama uongee. Vika yala uh, daktari George uh, Reverend Wellington from Mombasa St uh, Stephen's the other clergy uh, mama Beatrice mama yetu na mandugu zangu the Tambo families led by uncle Shem na mama yangu Elizabeth na wengine na maanti zangu wote tumsifu Yesu Kristo pakruos Yesu paki Mimi sina mengi. Uh, the journey has been so difficult. The way much has been said. I don't know what where to start. But uh, let me just get some courage. Will the mzee lying there. That smiling face you see there. Maybe we'll never see it again. In uh, Kweli. The vicar in St. Stephen said the same. It has been proclaimed here the same. So mzee was just exactly the way he looks. Kweli picha pale. And I happen to be one of the longest uh, nephew ambaye nimeisha naye nimeishi naye Mombasa mida ya miaka 79 nimesikia 79 okay when he was at bamburi he, when he was doing his apprentice at bamburi i used to be a kid like that i remember when i saw one of the guys from bamburi remember in the church this guy stood up and when i saw his face i could remember when they were walking with eric at bamburi those times So during lunch times mimi nilikuwa nakimbia kwa Eric kwenda kutafuta lunch. Yeah, amevaa ile nguo zake mzuri za blue. 
protective the PPRs, mask okay naenda bamburi na piga uh, ile gate uh, sasa nataka Eric na ngoja Eric anashuka huko astia za nakuja vile yuko na vumbi namna hiyo anasema kuja twende so tunakimbia huko eh, this to have a very beautiful place the hala park beautiful place this mzungu was very organized eh? tunakamata ka lunch eh? all the apprentices and their visitors tunaketi kama wakubwa tunakula so that was eric eh, wili mzee wili see all the humility you are talking about in the book of matthew 23 11 and 12 that humility ndio wili mzee that mzee there eric opio mimi sina mengi it's been too difficult the way you've been told but uh poleni kwanza msikia majina yangu ni chasa wake ni lamu I work with the military the military man is very difficult man he doesn't talk too much so uh ya kazi yangu tu ni ku execute so when we uh, in fact uh, when i started my leave on the 12th i drove all the way from lamu when reaching my compound in mombasa i got the message ya kwa mjomba mambo imeharibika in fact i was telling my my boy ebu me in mesikia nje i've never talked anything since morning i had a cup of chai strungi from lamu because i never eat when i travel so i kufika nyumbani nikamwambia iko kuku kwa fridge to ebu tengeneza to and then i get a call yakuwa mzee ni mgonjwa nikasema irudishwe kwa fridge so that what happens so since then that has been the journey So nikukurukuru I got my car I went to wash ningekimbia gakan kwenda kumuona mzee kumwangalia namna hii mambo yamesambaratika nilipomwangalia tena nikatoka I called his son Noah Noah huyu hapo He was a Marekani nikamwambia Noah habari yako eh huh? you know about mzee Asama is aware you know that mzee is sick Asama is aware where are you haya fanya funga safari And then I called the second uh, man here, the DJ. Okay, DJ works in Nairobi, K- Kenya Railways. Nikambia uko wapi? Uh, apparently this guy was admitted some few days in Aga Khan in Nairobi. But he was much better that day. Akasema nitakuja kesho kutwa. Lakini kwa conscience yake akasema pana, akabuku gari usiku. This man here, very strong man. So come that morning very early in the morning yeye jamaa alikuwa kwa Aga Khan asubuhi 6 when i came to Aga Khan 6 in the morning he was there na mzee pamoja na Jen na mama the nursing mzee he was in a horrible state the working on him but a lot of encouragement and prayers so the following day uh, actually the same same day i had to call mom my mother yeah i had to call my mother and come on be mama uko si mzuri mama uh, so lazima tufanye namna So I took the initiative and I called mama and auntie yake and my auntie ya uh, Rispa ingia kwa gari yangu nikapeleka hao Aga Khan waende kuona ndugu yao Okay so that was that it said when mama reached there he was shocked he could not talk he sat kando huko and he was start praying and crying my mother uh, but apparently that day funny funnily you know uh, Eric was eating uh, very nicely and akula chapati na kuku alikuwa analishwa chapati na kuku that day was when i saw him i saw uh, i saw some life in him and the mama was anamlisha nikamwambia kwa nini unapatia eric chapati na mtu mgonjwa anatafuna chapati anatuangalia macho na tabasamu tukimwongelesha anajibu kidogo uh, tukasema kumbe somebody is coming back to life tukashukuru sana kumbe that was uh, bye bye he wanted to see his people alikuwa atakuwa na watu wake with a lot of courage so he to speak the last time in kambia anko don't worry we are with you i'm on leave i'll work on that don't worry just take courage you'll be well kila kitu tunakuombea akasema sawa anambia bye bye see you tomorrow akasema bye bye he, he talked to me that day but before nimefika nyumbani at six, i got a call again from aga khan nikambia mzee amezidiwa what do this boy normal calls me tunaongea na huyu jamaa sana this is a good man this man here very good man okay he talks to me now what do we do Daktari amekuja anasema afanyue scan akasema afanyue mara moja kama atapona yafanyue scan so akaenda akafanyua scan akarudi eh, they stabilized him actually because he went down uh, they started to walianza kuburudisha kwa maisha because roho ilikuwa imekataa akaweka zile vitu za kumstua pap 
Rudy back twice. Actually, he like uh, disappeared twice. Uh, and then they, they brought him back to life. They got someone in the number of Dr. Swale. So I talked to Dr. Swale. Uh, the doctor was looking after him. Uh, and the doctor is like, mobilizing his team. We're going to come Angalia, Eric. Uh, so that's what happens. If you have a journey, you can be a member of Mezidi, so I believe you ICU. But in two conditions. Bada ya scan, ikiwa scan itakuwa mzuri, atapeleko wa ICU. Ikiwa scan itakuwa mbaya, atapeleko kwa ward. Nikasema mufanya hivyo, so that what happened. So, alipeleko kwa ICU, mida hizo zofakata mambo ilikuwa ni mbadu, there's nothing we could do. Alikimizo wa ICU, mida ya masatano ya usiku. So, because it was with this guy here, na Jen, na mama, so I got the message I come there I'm at watch. So that was Eric. So I take this opportunity first of all. Kwashukuru not everybody who was involved in this journey. Ya huyu mzee. Kwa maombi wachungaji Mr. Stevens kutoka kwa vika yenu Mary na tu IC ya Wellington very stuff. They came to our homes so many times our wachungaji. And I tell you that is the way to go. Dilimweleza mchungaji, uji mjoma yangu, is a very different person. I remember what was said in the church, because they are the founders of building that church, with the team here, Bamburi, mobilizing Maram and Asimiti. You could imagine, one of, one of, the, one of the time, uh, I remember, alipita nyumani, haka nita mimi, haka mchukua Nancy. We used to go with Nancy to the church. Uyu, uyu Nancy, muna mwana uyu. Tunakuja nae mpaka kule wama fundraising, so that was Eric. The way he was old, Akijvila na jidrag na mnaio with those kilometers, but he made sure all the fellowships are naenda, meetings zote na kuenda, meetings a matanga zote na naenda. Uyo mzee na ito Eric. And that is why Eric mwenye ameji zika mwenye. Mpigeni Eric Makofi. Matendo ya uyo mzee do mifanya leo akajizika hapa yala. So what you are like as it will go on Mombasa. I can go on. I can raise like the museum. Let us idea. Kwa safari ya kujizika mwenyewe. So I want to thank you also my mother. Uncle Shem for the effort that you've taken. And those initiative. Because uh, yeah, mama. Mama lisema pan. And mama sasa umetoka Nairobi. Na wewe uko na mna hiyo. So weakling. Haka sema no. I have to go to Yala. I have to go to Yala. I mean, I have to go to Yala. To be able to look at him and say, no, I have to go to Yala. Me, me, don't you go. And then, uh, Mom, we thank you for that. Uh, I remember one of the conversations. No, I said, Mom, so watch the CC20 to find a team and we have to pick it. Mom, I said, Mom, you go to Nikwet. You go to your queen, Nikwet. Okay? I remember those sentiments. Okay? I said, you go to Nikwet, you go to Nikwet, so I will go. So, Mom, we thank you for the works that you've done. Begin in my uncle Makov. First of all, there are a few people that I want to give my Shukurani, Dagakan Hospital, for the the works they've done. Go Walika and Eric Vizuri, Japukua Eric Alitwacha, but to Nashkura Agakan Hospital, led by Dr. Swale. Yapili, St. Stephen's Bamburi, SK Bamburi. What to give? Makubwa tena. Hiyo watu wa St. Stephen's. Mwana hile bendera hiko pale. Hile bendera. Ineka kama ya jeshi. Lakini kwa jeshi ngini na hitu wa Kenya Anglican Men Association. So Eric was a member. I'm also a member of that. But from the other church. He was a member. Unakuja kelewa mkono. Unavalishwa hiyo na askofu. Unapewa badge. Kama mwana jeshi. So ukiona mreps wala umekana. Zile mama. Like the other guy. The farthest. The representative ya kama. Hawezi kuzikuwa na mwetu ingine hapa. Ni wao, they have all the autonomy, wao wakasema no leo, sisi tunakaa ngumu hapa. Kusabu ni mutu yao. Tunashukuru yo kama ya St. Stephen's. Pigeo ni makofi watu ya kama. The organizing committee, there was a lot of push and pull. Something Ankoya Mas has stressed today, this meeting that sometimes become elderly in a fraternity, you get a lot of problems. Because now I could not leave even to go get a cup of chai. It's a problem.
problem so ukienda namna hiyo unakuta huko peke yako unatoka kwa meeting ma deliberate hiyo kirudi huko peke yako things have to go things have to move you know you have to move so this is exactly what it is it is good that some of these uh, young men eh uh, hizi including my son Raymond there okay it is good that some of these things mnaona mnatembeana kwa matanga za wenzenyu we interact and see exactly what happens and most importantly church mwe kwa front eh muhakikishe mujista the church all of you including everybody but in to make sure that all the people attend the church na niliambia vika kule St Stephen's kama mzee amejizika hata hawa they follow will follow suit me 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 leading of course because i'm, I'm almost retiring so <laughs> what do i do i have, I have no choice I have no choice so uh, also uh, i want to thank uh, the, uh, the sibling uh, uncle abaya ko in washington olivia olivia he did a lot of support to this family wherever she is tunasema asante sana kwa hiyo kazi mzuri alifanya eh uh, uh, where, where is the is it the son or the daughter eh huh? the son ako happy i understand he's in the midst where is the son owen where is owen 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 mkono juu ayuko okay understand that litumo aku attend uh, wherever and also nancy she played the good part nancy because mzee died i to call her i was communicating through uh, what's up video calls in the washington dc and in dubai oh you mrembo up so uh, uh this is what i've been doing so uh, uh and we made sure that she came from dubai so we had to take the death certificate plus all the credentials ya mjomba id yake akakuwa released huko akuje kwa she was given 14 days i think to attend um the other one could not come because of uh Shul na join America to get uh, uh, clearance na kwa kazi mingi visa is a lot of problems in America. So that's why but uh Alicia I think uh, this thing is online isn't it? Yeah, it is online now wherever she is in London in Washington anaona. And this happens also on call in St Stephen's because they have a YouTube channel where we did our service at uh, St uh, St Stephen's everybody in the world was following that. Uh, so uh, the other thing is that uh, we had a very robust committee in Mombasa led by Mr. Odindo here over here our chairman. He kazi nilipewa nikasema because I'm part and parcel like I don't aid and debate. So I said I have to get a neutral person UN United Nation tukakabidhi huyo jamaa hiyo kazi. Mpigieni huyo jamaa kazi alifanya kazi mzuri sana. Yeye pamoja na Mr. Odindo na kina Joseph Odiambo the resident me included hata mimi nilipigia makofi so na washukuru nyote ja jo gwengini watu wote ya yala game eh uh, na washukuru kwa kazi mzuri imeza remember the last time i came here but i used to come with mama here every now and again when i came here nikienda ugunja huko ba lingine na kujanga kutembea na mama kwa hii hii bas mahani yote huyo mama huyo very strong lady eh uh, huwa natembeanga naye So mimi na washukuru sana uh, kwa kazi mzuri ile ilifanya nyote nyote kwa, kwa wote wale walihusika kwa namna nyingine ama namna gani hata kwa kutuma salamu tu na kutufariji tu tunasema asanteni Mungu amani endelee kuwalinda wainue awavishe na mimi nawaachia neno tu kidogo kutoka kitabu ya Matthew chapter 23 verses 11 to 13 it says all of you are servants of God all all you are but servants of god that's what the bible says and it says whoever exalts himself will be humbled and that who humbles himself will be exalted that's what the bible says so that was eric copio god bless you so much asante sana bwana wekesa kwa hiyo sermon nzuri kuna mtu naweza kuwa nimefungia angependa kusema jambo moja for only few minutes kabla sijaongea ndio tukabidhi kanisa e, kwa kifupi sana mmoja kuna mwingine i'm sorry i'm sorry eh uh, team was in december za kutoka washington they gave some good money kwa, kwa rebecca rebecca was our it was the treasurer you rebecca rebecca's mama juu she has, she did as a very wonderful that lady huyo 
Tuluka tumikimbiza Mombasa, anakamota SGR, na mchugua, anakuja kwa sitting, anarudu kwa board meeting, anarudisha SGR, anarudu kwa board meeting, tunaita ye, and even today in the morning, and even yesterday. So Rebecca, uh, mpigini Rebecca Bakofi, she's done us wonders, that lady. God bless you so much Rebecca, asante. Aya, kuna mzee hapa, kuna mingine? Thank you very much. I uh, observe the church elders, the clergy, and even the presiding uh, rev. Everybody, I greet you in the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God once again. I'm greatly honored to stand before you here. I don't have much to say. Uh, the fallen hero is the brother to me. The cousin, the son to my mother's sister, and we love each other. We have stayed together for quite long. I knew him as a mentor long before we separated. When I used to stay in Nairobi, he used to stay with us in the same uh, house, DAT Shaurimoyo. Uh, my wife is here. She's, she spent here last night. Can you just wave? My brother is there, my elder brother. Some other family could not make it. Uh, in all, I pay my condolences to the family of the late. And I believe God has a plan for everything. For we know that in everything that is happening, God has a plan. When you read the Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3, it tells us that there is a time for everything. So rest assured, my brother, for we shall meet. Thank you all very much. God bless you all. Kanisa ningeomba jambo moja kidogo tu kuna team imetoka Nairobi. Ime kutoka Kenya Railways wameongozwa na bwana Kiplimo wametumwa na MD kutoka Nairobi. Waseme jambo moja. Kiplimo Praise God. As uh, you have heard, my name is Kiblimo David. We are working with uh, Patrick. And, uh, let me join others to salute the hero, Eric, for what he has done throughout his life. And he has, he has uh, been able to gather us for this special moment. Uh, we have come to represent the cooperation, though some of us are still on the way. So uh, me and the other three guys, we came yesterday. Some of the groups are still on the way. Uh, we have Washira, who is the workmate of uh, Patrick Watambo, closely. Uh, Watambo is uh, his supervisor. And we have... Uh, our pilot who came with us. So, uh, because Eric was uh, somebody of few words, but more actions, we will not extend our much time to express uh, our, our ourselves. What I want to say only is just uh, to leave the family with uh, courage. I know it is not very easy. When you lose a, a father vigor, uh, goes Eric, as by the testimony, it was more than a man and a half to this family and uh, their sibling and uh, relatives. Patrick, uh, you have a big role together with Noah. We have had your sister, Nancy. That burden that he was feeling at least heavy, just uh, make Nancy to be consultant. But you are the one to execute whatever it is needed in this compound. But since you are in Nairobi now, uh, we can make your, most of your weekend to spend in camp kindly. I know you might be having some one, two, three in Mombasa, but be a frequent visitor of this area. 
uh, people, uh, the people of Kim, we want to say thank you for the support that you have to support this family. Uh, together, I think we will encourage the family not to feel the burden. Uh, our speech from MD, I think as soon as it arrives, it will be represented by the HR. I am Patrick's supervisor in the uh, sections of containers. So we are working closely with uh, Patrick. Uh, I think that is all about Kenya Railways. We thank family for giving us Patrick. I've seen where the humility started. So keep on. Uh, there is a peak assignment ahead of you and you need to execute that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the encouraging words. Huh? Uh, I hope we are now, we are soon entering into another session. Lakini ninge penda pia kuongea kidogo kama chairman. Mimi kama chairman nilichaguliwa na mzee marehemu otambo. Kitambo kido aliniita kwake. Kaniambia we kijana wewe naona you are a bit aggressive. Nike kuangalia mi siongi sana lakini wewe ngependa uwe chairman wa residents wenye tunakaa katika hiyo eneo. Kaambia mzee nitaweza na wengine hapa eh, to deal with human beings sometimes is very difficult. Very difficult because I'm a teacher by profession. Na nimefunza huko poli mahali wa Eric Otambo na the, the, the department of electrical kwa huko lakini yeye sasa anajua alikuwa kitambo mimi sisi tumekuja baadaye. So nikamwambia dealing with human beings even the students are very difficult. Akaniambia hapana wewe Nasema sawa. A kweli imekuwa ngumu. Imekuwa ngumu. But uh, I, I really lose hope. Mimi I'm a fighter. So I've been chairing meetings together with uh, one Oyola. Uh, Oyola, if I briefly, he was my student. Na alipoona plot iko mahali, aliitwa na mzee, akasema mwalimu, ah, njoo hapa. Uka jirani aka akanipatia plot wakiwa na mzee na akanichorea plan. Huyu, he's an architect. Yeah, in the Department of Building and Civil Engineering. I taught him those early days, eh? mathematics. Eh? So, he applied those knowledge and then assisted the teacher. Now, mzee aliponipe yo kazi. The funny part, the funny part is that when mzee was sick, he called me in the hospital. Kaniambia Odindo, njo hospital. They were the uh, mama Jane. I went there. And uh, he, to, he was very, alikuwa mchangamfu sana. Hata mama haka mkataza, haka ambia pana. Utakikani usimame vile umesimama. Mzee haka sema pana, the young man has come. Wacha tuonge. Tukaongea mengi. And kamuambia mzee utasikia vizuri. The last day when he was dying. I was called by party and the mother. And uh, Jen. Nikaenda huko. Nikamkuta. Haku wanaonge yosiku wakasema yapele kwe CT scan, wakaniita, wakaniambia the level of sodium e, iko chini sana na heart pia hana nguvu sana, wakasema basi. Wakasema okay, daktari kwa sabu mesema wacha afanyo scan, alafu tutapea, tutapea matokeo, that was around 7. Akiwa vibaya sana vile mbubwana, e, wekesa mesema, basi mtamweka ICU. So I left and I went home. Saa tatu, saa, saa tatu kitu, Kapelekua eh, ICU. So, at around 4.30 in the morning, I received a message yeah, from them, from party, telling me them say it's normal. And that was all. So, later, I was called by, the committee sat down, the family members. Yeah, and the funny part, when Wekesa decided that I will chair the barrio uh, arrangements. I have never handled such a big task. Nakasema, we utaweza. Nakamuambia, haya wacha nika consult. Unajua lazima tu consult eh, our, our sweethearts. Kama una sweetheart, shauri yako. Eh, eh, <coughs> Nikaenda, nikamuse, kasema, unajua, hey, hey, hapa, ni noma. That's the word she used. Lakini, I know you are a fighter. Ah, sawa. So I took over, and uh, we are here. I'm here with the family. The mother, the, the, uh, Mama Jena liniita, kwake 
akilia sana. Aniambia, "Ai, mzee nataka kuzikwa hapa lakini nikamwambia, "Ama unataka ziko wapi?" Game. Hiyo ni achie. And from that time to date, I've been coordinating a team that is very strong. And uh, I have managed to maneuver my ways from the hospital. Uh, Most of the people who assisted me were my students. Like the Janam, I congratulate them. The Janam himself gave us a 50-seater. He reduced the price. And the local hires we were supposed to pay, I was given free as a chair. So I thank Janam for that. Now, brief uh, on the matter of Erika, the late, alinichagua kama mzee wa mta. Aliniambia wewe sasa, yu utakua una coordinate mambo hapa. So hawa vijana, uh, muwe very careful. Mzee alisema, niangalie njini. Mzee wa kora. Nasema hiyo kwa kanisa, pastor yuko hapa, na tukirudi Mombasa, the first thing I'll do is to pick all of you tuende tukaombe kanisani ACK Jambo lingine kanisa imesema na narudia hapa upendo People must live with love Everybody we come from kuna mama aliongea hapa akasema we come from diverse eh, backgrounds Mtu akisema shida yake hapa utatoroka Kwa sababu we, uh, kuna shida. Na yangu kidogo nitaisema. Kwa sababu ni shida. Mimi nimejisomesha mwenyewe. My father was a farmer. Aliyaga huwa na was a first year at the university. Kachwa na mama. And I never left that beautiful mother. Nimepambana na mpaka. Siku hile alipata arthritis. Nililipa milioni moja peke yangu hospitali kwa sababu wengine wanaangaliana there's nothing as bad as we are living together but some people ikifika saa ya kutoa we mkono yako iko iko nyuma na my sister who lives in busia told me one thing ukitoa haijapotea utabarikiwa zaidi sasa we ukizidi kufinya yako unafinya finya tu lakini wewe utakuwa maskini wengine wanaendelea that's what I'm trying to say. Na, hii mali ya dunia. Yaisha. Mzee Otambo was, uh, was okay. Na hata yo ploti ya bamburi ni mesike kitajo hapa na, na mzee. Hame pigana nao sana. The funny part, alipo succeed. Hame renovate. Kabla yende the second floor. Juhu alikuwa na niita pale. Hame ondoka. But, hako nao sasa. So mama atakuwa na pata to rent kitogo. Lakini watoto, msipige mama msaidieni kuendeleza. So upendo ni kitu muhimu sana katika maisha ya binadamu. Na mali tutakufa vile tuli, tulizaliwa, tutatoka hii dunia, tutaenda mbinguni vile vile. Hata uwe na pesa ngapi? If, and in this world there's nobody who is not important. Everybody. Uwe na mali, usiwe na mali. Try to look at your neighbor. When we came here yesterday E, tulikuta watu wametungojea sana na wao watu walitukaribisha vizuri tulichoka the journey from Mombasa we took almost 24 hours eh? to Mombasa but i have a very strong team we encourage some have never come this far they say ah mlitoka wapi kuja kutafuta nikamwambia nikutafuta so when we arrived here tukapewa chakula lakini sasa ikafika saa kuchimba kaburi mvua ikaanza kunyesha most of us were not here but the chairman, Martin, and the rest, uh, we stood here and said, Kwanza mwili weko kwa nyumba, pili kaburi ichimbwe. So we, uh, we were with the young men. Awa vijana, wapigiwe makofi awa vijana. Mahali wako. Walifanya kasi nzuri sana. Na mimi nikawacha kwa sababu as a chair nilikuwa nimechoka nikaenda kulala. Lakini nikawacha ujumbe komba kila kitu ifuate vile inatakikana. Uh, when I came back in this morning, everything was okay. So kwa hawa machache kanisa na yushukuru sana SK under the leadership of Mary and Wellington wametusaidia sana. Na watu wenye eh, najua tunaogopa kwenda ushirika, tunaogopa kwenda wazee, wamama wako sawa. 
Wazee sijui tulirogwa na nani. We fear so many things. We fear so many things. But when something touches on us, Mzee Opio was every day niambia naenda ushirika. He was not. So niambia naenda, mimi namwambia na mimi naenda town, kanisani. But the frequency at which he was going to church eh, was different with other men. Men will only go when there is a problem. Apart from kama kama nita Pastor Wellington nita shift goal posts. Eh? Nitajaribu nitakuja huko. Nikileta hii team na huyu huyu amesema. Sawa? <laughs> Wekesa is a member of Agrika na na, na, na tutakuja. Lakini sasa nita change naona hiyo direct uh, you have impressed me as the chair in fact i had a very difficult time uh, yes um i had difficult difficult time dealing with the with the barrier arrangements but as a fighter i'm very much happy now i can sleep seeing my friend lying here comfortably there's no bill the um, uh, treasurer Tumemsumbua anajua. Kwa hospitali nilikuwa nasimama hivi. Hebu piga simu, stoki hapa bila receipt. I have them here with me. All of them. So thank you very much. May God give you energy. May God reward you for being honest. I think you, if I look closely watu wenye wamefanya bank they are the wana behave na hiyo. Give I don't know. Those people who, who do business eh, and they are in the bank uh, the bank sector ni very de- you have to explain even one shilling imeenda wapi ndio na wengine wakora wakitumiwa pesa wanaku hiyo hatuataki na we have never spend any money f- ya, ya, ya mambo kama haya kwa eh, msiba kama huko mambo mengine kwa hivyo yes, naweza ongea mpaka kesho mimi ni mwalimu i teach for over 6 6 8 hours eh? nataka sasa kukabidhi kanisa na kanisa watupeleke taratibu Watu onyeshe mwelekeo. Hawa watoto na wenye tumebaki. Tujue next ni wewe. Next, wewe ni, next ni wewe. Ulale ukijua the heart when it start, the heart stops pumping. That's all. We pronounce you dead. Sawa? Roho tu kizimani bana. Kwa hivyo jiulize unaenda kama bwana Otambo unasikia ameenda Yola amesema ameenda direct. You haku uh, hajako sana na mtu. Juzi uh, to summarize, Juzi kulikuwa na shida na na plot, alikuwa ananyang'anywa fence. Na mimi ndio chair. Mzee akasema sasa mimi hapo imefika. Wacheni nituli. Ukitaka kwenda naye waende nayo lakini wewe chairman, lean now. Nimepigana hata wekesa anajua na pambana na wao. But I thank God I'm strong enough to make sure things move on. So, asanteni sana eh, kanisa eh, take over. Asante. Makofi mazuri bwana kwa bwana chairman. <laughs> Asante kwa kazi nzuri. Tunaendelea vyema na tunashukuru Mungu. Uh, wakati huu uh, ningependa tuimbe wimbo mmoja. Naona kuna wanakuwa ya wengine wako nasi hapa. Tutasimama tuimbe wimbo mmoja. Ningependa kukaribisha mjane anene. Baada ya hiyo ndio tutaenda kwa kanisa. Ah uh, tunaweza imba huu wimbo unasema mwamba wenye imara. Kwa kwa programs mwamba wenye imara tunaposimama tutakapokuwa tumemaliza tutakaribisha mjane aweze kunene kunena kwa ajili ya mpenzi wake ambaye ametuacha. Mwamba wenye imara wako nitajificha maji hayo na damu yaliyotoka humo unisafi na dhambi Unifanya mshindi kwa kazi zote pia sitimizi sheria ni 
japo fanya bidi nikili ana kudhi aya ishi makosa ni wewe kuokoa sina cha mkononi na jam salabani nilitukuni vike ni mnyonge nishike nilim chafuna ja nioshe misijafa ni kungo japochini na kwenda kaburini ni pa pombinguni na kuona enzini roho yangu na iwe rani mwako wewe tunaweza keti dada umekaribishwa Nawasalimu nyote kwa jina la Yesu. Natoa shukrani kwa kanisa, familia yote ya mzee Otambo, ndugu, jamaa na marafiki, majirani pia. Nasema ni asante kwa yote. Haikuwa rahisi kwangu, lakini kwa uwezo wa Mungu naona yametendeka. Natoa shukran kwa yote. Kwa ufupi ningependa kuongea kuhusu maisha ya mzee wangu Eric Apio Otambo. Eric nimeishi naye kuanzia miaka 82. Wakati huo nilikuwa naishi na dadangu huyo ambaye nimesimama naye hapa. Dada ke Eric marehemu Margaret Adhiambo ndiye alinitambulisha kwa mzee Eric. Hatukujuana. Ni yule msemo unaosemwa. Mwasema mshenga ama mwasemaje? Eh. Hapo nilipomjua mzee Eric. Nikajiuliza. Eh. Hii ndo ya kufanya kutafutiwa itafanya kazi kweli? Lakini haikuwa rahisi kwangu lakini nilipomwona mzee Eric roho yangu iliridhika wajua mtu akiwa mzuri ukimwona wakati wa kwanza unajua tu mtu ni mzuri na mtu mbaya pia anajulikana Mzee Eric alikuwa mtu mpole umri wake na wangu haukufuatana lakini sikujali hayo yote niliona maisha ni muhimu kuliko umri Mzeri kakuwa na maneno alipenda watu. Mimi mwenyewe pia alinipenda. Hatukuishi kama bwana na bibi. Tuliishi kama ndugu. Na maisha ya ndugu ndiyo maisha ya maana katika dunia. Mkichukuliana kama ndugu mtaishi vizuri. Majirani zangu wote wengi waliita mzee baba. Wengine wakamwita babu paka ilo jina likakoma nikaa pia mimi namuita babu na ikawa rais kwangu kwa maana ninapomuita babu moyo wangu kidogo huwa umeridhika na ye mwenyewe pia alinichukulia kama mtoto wake hatukuishi vile vibaya alipenda watoto wake hakuwa mpenda vita kama ume wengine bibi akikosa anapigwa ngumi na mateke Eric ilikuwa tayari kuniomba msamaha wakati wote anaponikosea. 
Mimi ndio alikuwa akiniomba msamaha najiuliza. Eh. Kwani huyu mzee amenikosea wapi? Mbona ananiomba msamaha? Alafu baadaye na nasikia moyo wangu mzito mpaka narudi mimi ndio nanyenyekea tena. Yale makosa yote amefanya na sahau na ikakatu. Alikuwa mtu mzuri. Hata hakuwa na kasirika, anaweza kukasirikia masaa tu. Kwa vile tuaishi pamoja atunge kosa ku kugongana, glasi zikiwa pamoja lazima zitagongana. Lakini nashukuru kwa yote na familia mzee Utambo pia natoa shukrani kwao. Hakuna mkamilifu dunia hii. Sote wenye dhambi hakuna aliyekamilika ndio maana hata kanisa pia zililetwa natoa shukrani kwa yote na dadangu pia nimeishi naye alikuwa kama mamangu ni mkubwa wangu lakini pia kama mama nasema ni asante kwa yote sina mengi hmm? ndugu zangu makazini yangu zangu wote na washukuru kwa mchango walionipati. Na kuja kwao pia. Nafikira wajafika hapa lakini watafika. Nasema ni asante kwa yote. Na mzee Nyambiro pia kama yuko hapa na mshukuru. Mzee Okongo pia ningependa kumshukuru. Mama Elizabeth pia na mshukuru kwa yote. Na hata shemegi yangu ambaye ni mzee shemu duo na kushukuru kwa yote kwa vile we pia nkamba babangu nasema ni asante kwa yote mbariki asante sana ah uh, kwa wakati huu tunataka kwenda kwa kanisa lakini kabla sijaenda kwa kanisa ingawaje mwenye nataka kuita ni sehemu ya kanisa letu lakini ni jirani pia uh, mama Monica Ohingo sijui nimemuona akiingia ako wapi oh mama Monica is the closest neighbor here and uh, she's the one who introduced me to this family when uh, this occurred and uh, I was able to come here and visit and uh, pray here at home. So mama, you must be knowing this family more than we do. Please come as uh, probably as a member of the church and uh, as Jirani and say something. Please mama. Chakutu my nisina Ila damu yake bwana sina wa kutosha dhambi zangu kuzi sha kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama Diem wam isalama Agoyero I'm very well known to the family the family have been uh, people who knew each other for many, many years. My late uh, husband, Solomon Ohingo, was a great friend, cousin to Shem. Shem, can you stand up so that they see you? That is the age of my husband in the grave. And uh, I'm also um, a god a god mother in the family. When this happened, 
it was a great shock to me because Eric, I've been talking to Eric now and again. Although he didn't come so many often here, but I talked to him quite often and he assured me that he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. I didn't know he was, he was to come in this manner. But this is uh, God's doing. There's very little we can say. He's a humble man and uh, the friendship has been on for so long. I don't know if Liz is here. Okay. Um, we welcome you. I, I wasn't going to talk much because I have delayed. I'm sorry I came very late because of some occasion at home. But my home is just next door. And this family, Mama should know that uh, I'm here for her. If anything, she needs to know to get friendship to come to our church which already has already come here since yesterday. They were here very early, about 3 o'clock. But the journey you had was a very long one. I know Mama had it very rough because she was here before. She had to go back to Nairobi, to Mombasa again, and then come back. That is a very long way for somebody who is having Uzuni. Uh, and uh, traveling to and fro. But I believe you will get over it. You are uh, a great people who have come to help us uh, see Eric uh, down. And we believe that um, you will be able to remember him even if you didn't know him very, very well. May God bless you all as a, a company here to see him off and to the family who are new here, most of them. I don't think they have come around very much, but now that the home is established, they will be able to come because Mama will be around all the time. May God bless you. I don't have very much more to say. Be blessed. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, allow me to introduce uh, the church members who are able to be with us uh, today. Uh, they are seated this side, just wave to the congregation. Could there be anyone elsewhere? Ah, the other side. God bless you for being here. Uh, we have the ministry team here with me uh, who are able to join us. I uh, want to give each one of them an opportunity to just greet you, uh, say their names. Then Canon will uh, give our message as uh, St. Paul's Yala Parish. So, uh, bro brethren, just come forward and uh, introduce yourselves. Bwana Yesu wa Sifiwe. Bwana Yesu wa Sifiwe. Kwa majina ni Bernard Abongo. Yesu ni mukozi wa maisha yangu. Mimi ni mkazi wa hapa yala. Kisikia St. Mary's yala. Hapo ndiyo nyumbani. Boma yetu na shule ni fence to ndiyo. Ime tugawanyisha. Lakini na wakaribisha nyote. Hapa yala wageni ambao metoka semu mbali mbali. Mjisikie mko nyumbani. Kwa familia nasema pole na mungu ndio mfariji. Asanteni. Praise God. I am Lisa Nyango Obonyo. Uh, I come from Rarieda. And Jesus Christ is my personal savior. Student. And also as a lay reader in St. Paul's SEK. Thank you. To the clergy, the family, friends and relatives, allow me to greet all of us in the name of our Savior. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Bible says, Nigi mangi makithni. 
The Bible says that gimangima kithni. So gimangima kithni. If you are alive, just wave and laugh because you are rejoicing in the name of the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. The Bible says rejoice and I say again, rejoice. So let us rejoice even as we lay to rest the humble man whom we are hearing great tributes. And personally let me confess that I miss him. I wished I saw this great man when we could just smile. Hallelujah. But it is the Lord's doing. And so we want to tell the family that we want to see Eric in you. And yesterday when they came, our Rev George, we saw the smiling faces even after that long journey and even after that bereavement, they were able to afford that great smile. May God bless you. From St. Paul's Parish Yala, allow me to bring our sincere condolences to the family. May God be with you during this difficult time. And with God, everything is possible. We are mourning now, but we will be laughing because that is the wo what the Bible says. I remember some years back when I was still very young, in Yala, we buried mom there. The church was still safe. It used to be called St. Thomas, but the name changed to St. Paul's. So, we want to thank mom, even as she rests with the Lord, for the foundation that she laid in this family. The Christian family is the strongest fam uh, family that will never, never be sunk. Whatever waves come, but it will remain standing. And so on Sunday, last Sunday, our Elizabeth came to church late. And I saw her during the communion when she came to receive. Then later, I asked, you are a visitor. And we learned to know that there was something here. So as church, we brought God to you. Our mission as a church is to bring God to a population. The God that we have brought here may reign forever. To the family, it is only God. There are many things that you will hear, but those things will never help you. The Bible that you have been told, the church where there is everything. So cling to God, cling to church, and you will have all. God bless you. Amen. Asante, my name is Canon. And uh, my name is Jojo Mondi. As I said, uh, Christ Jesus is the Lord and Savior of my life. I'm a servant. I'm a servant uh, at St. Paul Siala Parish. And uh, we are saying, Pole, to the family. But be assured that God is with you. And I'm happy to note that our brother was a servant of God. For you to see Kama uh, putting this, it's not put for anybody. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's not put for anybody, this flag. It is put for those who have fought the fight to the end. Hallelujah. And surely he has fought the fight of the walk with the Lord. Mpaka akamaliza mwendo sa lama. Natuna mshukuru sana kwa ayo maisha alichagua kutembea. God tells us in Psalm 68, uh, verse 5, uh, uh, that a father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. Hallelujah. So, uh, kwa familia, now you are special in the eyes of God. Because we have a widow. This is a message only to widows and orphans. So now God begins to, 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 to defend you. God begins to be your father. He says, a father to the fatherless, a defender of widows. Eh? 
kuna mtu alisema hapa uh, watoto wasimame ngangari mtu asisumbue mama si ndio lakini Mungu atasimama ngangari kuzidi kila kitu na mambo yote yatakuwa sawa maisha yenu yatakuwa sawa kwa sababu Mungu mwenyewe amesema ya kwamba atakuwa nanyi isi ya kila mtu ni ya wajane na watoto waliofiwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo mmekaribishwa tena tena sana huku yala uh, just as Canon has said I wish I would see this wonderful man but I can see him in the children we desire to be part of you this is home you know as an african <laughs> everywhere you go they say what what home is how does that saying go east or west this is home wapendwa shem this is home please i would like as a pastor that now i've found a new pastoral place that i've never come to i've come here i've never known we have people here but from the time i was told this is now my pastoral territory and i don't want to live here today and never come back because there are no people i want to find this place lively i can find somebody I, or i can be able to get in and pray any time i want for this family and even those that have left us hallelujah so to go in touch uh, after this canon please make sure you have contacts even if you are going wherever you go but we want to be in touch we can be calling you we can be praying together when you come to visit we can come and pray with you here so that the legacy of this compound stays eternally and it can only do so when we keep committing it to the lord especially as the pastors within this region hallelujah uh tunashukuru sana uh, i now want to welcome um uh, rev uh, wellington who will handle uh, the section uh, for the church from mombasa uh, rev wellington will also come at some time later to share with us the word of god but this is a moment that he will introduce the church from mombasa and the groups that speak please feel free because nyinyi ndio mnajua huyu jamaa sana si ndio karibuni Asante sana. Ah uh, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Napenda sana kiluo na kikizungumzwa kinatiririka vizuri. Lakini nataka nikizungumze lakini napungukiwa na maneno. Kwa hivyo naomba mniruhusu nizungumze Kiswahili nyine niongeze ongeze na, ki, na Kiingereza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka kushukuru Mungu Isa, kisha vile vile ni shukuru sisi mwangu kasisi e, George daktari wa parokia hii ya Ayala katika uaskofu huu wa Maseno West SK Church Mungu akubariki kwa kuweza kusimama na pia kuwa sehemu yetu katika maombolezo pia vile vile Canon kwa ujumbe wa kutujenga Lerida mtarajiwa na Lerida hivi sasa unaifanya kazi pamoja na kasisi. Jamii kwa kuondokewa, ni wasalimu jamii Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na sote Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi jina langu ni Wellington Gonja kama mlivyosikia na nimetoka kule Waskofu wa Mombasa, kanisa la Anglikana. Kanisa liloko Bamburi, St Stephen uh, Bamburi Factory Parish. Hapo ndipo ambapo mzee wetu ambaye Mungu alimuita kwake alikuwa akiweza kushiriki akiwa pamoja na jamii yake pia akiwa pamoja nasi sote huyu mzee Eric Opio ambaye Mungu amempumzisha nilimjua pamoja na wenzangu wachache kwa kama miaka mitatu kwa sababu huduma yetu ni ya kupewa transfer na baada ya kipindi tunatoka tunaenda parokia nyingine lakini tangia ni mjue uh, huyu mzee nilimjua akiwa shujaa wa imani na alikuwa sana katika kitengo cha kama kama ni wanaume wa kanisa wanaoshikilia umisheni katika kitengo chao aliwajibika alikuwa ni mzee wa kuwajibika alikuwa pia anapenda shirika za kanisa na alikuwa anabidii sana hata kuliko waumini vijana wakati wote kulipokuwa na shirika za kama kama breakfast alirauka mapema na kafika huko hata kabla ya wengine kama vile alivyozungumza bwana chairman hapa na kulipokuwa na shirika 
ile ambayo alikuwa akienda ya, ya Jericho hapo kanisani pia alikuwa akipenda sana na alikuwa mwanaume wa kipekee ambaye alikuwa na bidii bwana asifiwe na pia vile vile alikuwa ana imani sana na anapenda kutia moyo jamii yake kuwa na imani hata mfano mzuri ni vile bwana chama analivozungumza kuhusu huyu binti yake hapa Nancy kuna wakati mmoja alikuwa anataka binti yake aombewe ili apate kazi huko ngambo akaja pale kanisani akasema tafadhali mchungaji kazungumza na yule mchungaji mwenzangu mkubwa tuombee jamii yangu na muniombee huyu mtoto wangu Nancy ili abarikiwe na kazi na kwa imani yake binti yake akapata uh, kazi huko ngambo bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo huyu alikuwa na bidii sana alikuwa muumini ambaye alikuwa na nidhamu na nidhamu yake ilikuwa ni ya kuigika na hata sisi kwa mahubiri yetu tungeweza kumtoa mfukua mfano mzuri pia vile vile tulipopatwa na habari za kuondoka kwake tulihuzunika kama wanadamu na tukaona tumemkosa uh, mtu wa maana mzee wa maana mzee ambaye alikuwa na tabasamu na likatugusa sana na kwa sababu alikuwa karibu nasi sana tukaingiwa na moyo mkuu wa kufanya vile bwana chama alikuwa akisema kusimama pamoja na jamii hii kupatikana kuchanga kuomba pamoja na wao pasipo kukosekana Mungu alituwezesha na tukaona haikutosha tukaona ni lazima tuje hapa yala gema tuje kuweza kuwa pamoja katika kumpatia heshima yake ya mwisho akiwa mahali hapa kwa hivyo tumekuja wengi sana kutoka Mombasa. Hebu wale ambao tumetoka Mombasa sote tusimame tafadhali, tusimame tupunge. Wale ambao tumetoka kama umetoka Mombasa. Kama umetoka Mombasa, kuna wakanisani na wasio wa kanisa letu. Kwa hivyo tuko namba nzuri tu sana. Asanteni sana, asanteni sana. Tukae. Kati ya hao ambao ni wakanisani kuna nataka niite watatu ambao watazungumza, mmoja atazungumza kwa niaba ya kama ambayo bwana Eric aliyepumzika alikuwa yuko na pia kuna mmoja atazungumza kwa niaba ya jumuiya ile ya Jericho lafu pia kuna former people zwaden nitamuita hapa aweze kuzungumza nataka nianze na mmoja kwa niaba ya Jericho kwa niaba ya Jericho fellowship ambapo mzee Eric aliweza ku kuhudhuria sana huyu ndugu ni mwanakama na bado anaendelea kujitarisha zaidi atajitambulisha na atazungumza Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina inaitwa Frederick Kaboko mimi ni memba wa St Stephen Bamburi na tena ni mshirika wa Jericho penye mzee wetu alikuwa na shiriki na yeye mzee wetu alikuwa anajibidisha hata kama atakuja akae tukae na yeye atu atuelekeze mambo mengine ambayo sisi hatuko tunayajua tulijifunza mengi kutoka kwake na Mungu aiweke roho yake bali pema peponi tunaendelea kufuata nyayo zake amina Sante pia tamuita mmoja wao hapa kwa niaba ya kama nafikiri kuna ndugu pale ambaye ni one of one of the officials the kama katika SK St Stephen Bamburi karibu sana tajitambulisha Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ningependa tutusimame kidogo. Mzee alikuwa mimi ni mwimbaji na imbaga kanisani present worship team. I'm the secretary. Alikuwa anapenda song moja ambayo nitaimba kidogo tu. Naomba tusimame kwa sababu ya mzee. Ananiwazia mema. Huyu Yesu ananiwazia mema. Simba Yuda. Ni pema kufia Uyu Yesu anani wazia mema simba oh anani wazia mema uyu Yesu anani wazia mema simba uda oh uyu Yesu anani wazia mema simba oh anaku wazia mema uyu Yesu anaku wazia mema simba wa yuda anaku wazia mema oh simba Yesu anani wazia mema simba oh anaku wazia mema 
Huyu Yesu anakuazia mema Simba wa Yuda Anatuazia mema oh, Huyu Yesu ananiwazia mema Simba wa Yuda Tunaomba tukae Bwana Yesu asifiwe uh, kwa majina ninaitwa Gabriel Wazame mimi ni mshirika wa St Stephen Bamburi na mimi ndio secretary wa kama pale St Stephen Bamburi na mzee uh, Eric alikuwa rafiki yangu nilikuwa naimba nikiimba tu nikimaliza present kwa wakati tunatoka tunaenda kukaa wanaume waga tuko na kikao wetu tukimaliza ibada ananiita ananiambia leo umenibariki na mimi ndio nampenda mzee wangu huyo tumejiona for 10 years na Mungu azidi kuilaza roho yake mahali pema peponi mzee Eric amekuwa ni mzee ambaye anajitolea ni kwa ajili ya huduma huduma uh, katika vile mmesikia katika Jericho fellowship sana sana kwa kama tukikiwa na fellowship yote ya kama kama ni prayer breakfast sisi hata ngoja magari tubebe tumngoje ma eh alikuwa anatangulia anachukua motorbike tunampata pale tukisema tunakutana saa 12 sharp ye yeah, 5:30 tunampata kanisa. So amekuwa ni mzee ambaye amejitolea katika huduma na mimi nilikuwa naomba kunda kijana yake pato namjua sana. Wewe ndio kijana namjua rafiki yangu sana. Na muomba ashike sana especially kanisani pale St uh, Stephen na jitokeze ni kwa ajili najua kwa Nairobi but much of the time er, uh, Patrick ukiwa please kanisa yako ni St Stephen Bamburi na ujiunge na wakama. Amen. So Mungu wabariki sana uh, watu wa Yala tume, uh, tumefurahia sana na ningependa wazee wale wa kama wamekuja. Actually not kama men of St Stephen Smameni tu mkafanya hivi mkongo. Amen. Amen tuwapigie makofi. So mbarikiwe sana kwa mjane Mungu azidi kukutia nguvu na tuko pamoja. Amen. Asante sana nitamuita former people Zwaden ambaye yuko hapa kule Bamburi kuna wazee wengi lakini <laughs> kama nilivyosema tuna <laughs> ah yataendelea kusema ah uh, to the clergy na waombolezaji wenzetu amjambo amjambo tena uh, kwa majina naitwa Simeon Chenga Kuom uh, mimi ni mkaji wa Barsauri nikiwa hapa nyumbani mimi niko nyamnini ya parish ambayo liza St Paul's kwa hivyo St Paul ni watoto wa nyamnini ya ah nikiongea kidogo juu ya Eric Eric uh, tuliwekwa mkono pamoja uh, mkono kama wakati tulikuwa tunaingia kwa kama tuliingia naye pamoja na nimemjua tangu 2012 vile mbosikia mengi juu yake ni kwamba kweli alikuwa tukienda kama breakfast used to be number one na lazima tumpigie makofi kwa hiyo I don't know how strong kama is this side lakini Mombasa we are very strong that one akana shwa you we are very very strong that's why unaona pia mwili wa Eric imekuja tunasema asante sana for the family ku support pia ka kanisa ya St Stephen na tunataka wao part of St Stephen not even support but we want them to be part of St Stephen church but we like Eric used to be nataka sana muwe part of St Stephen Church Bamburi. Najua wengi wanashangaa lakini Eric katika kila jambo ambalo kwa tunafanya kanisani kanisani used to be part of ever each and every project. No matter ile pesa kidogo alikuwa anatoa lakini used to be part ya kila project ya kanisa. Tao kiangalia katika list ya kama contribution utamuona tangu 2012 wao the vice chairman of kama ndio tukawaachia ofisi ambayo imeingia sasa hii kwa hiyo the family poleni sana poleni sana tena sana na Mungu azidi uh, kuwabariki na tunaomba please be part of us asanteni sana asante sana huyu tunamuita mzee wa nguvu kule Mungu akubariki sana mzee wa nguvu basi uh, nataka nitoe rambi rambi zangu kwa niaba ya familia yangu pia kwa niaba ya wachungaji wenzangu kule St Stephen's Bamburi uh, Factory Parish kuna mchungaji Mary ambaye yeye ndo the vicar in charge mimi nikiwa msaidizi wake na pia kuna mchungaji Anna ambaye ni mchungaji wa watoto mupokee rambi rambi kwa niaba ya hawa pia rambi rambi kwa niaba ya kanisa zima lote 
na waumini wote wa Bamburi. Kile ninachofahamu cha imani kinachohusiana na mzee Eric ni kwamba kama maandiko yanavyosema alivipiga vita vilivyo vizuri na mwe na imani pia ameilinda na ni mwito tu kwetu sisi kwa kuwa amewacha mfano mzuri pia nasi pate mfano huo jamii katika mfano huo na sote tuingie katika huo kule mbinguni tunaambiwa ukipiga vita vilivyo vizuri utavii kwa taji ya uzima wa milele tubariki maisha ni mwetu asante sana Asante sana. Uh, ningependa ku find out kama kuna administration because we are coming towards the close. We want to listen to the word of God. Alafu tuende tupumzishe ndugu yetu kabla mvua ijaanza. Uh, watu wangafu ama administration. Any village elder. Any assistant chief. Kama hakuna ningependa tuombe uh, the Reverend William atatulisha uh, neno la Mungu leo na ningependa ku invite uh, the part of we have a choir a uh, praise team you can give us uh, some choruses alafu atakuja atapokuja tutaimba wimbo moja inaitwa Mwamba what ha <laughs> wenye imara Ah niliona wameandika hapa neno lako Bwana. Mnataka mwamba wenye imara ama neno lake Bwana? Neno lake. Sawa sawa tuweze kuinuka kila pahali tulipo. Uh, praise team give us some choruses as we prepare. Alafu tutaimba hiyo uh, hymn as uh, chungaji comes to share with us. Mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba wetu
calor en por coro calor aleluya na luonge ni honor aleluya na luonge ni honor aleluya ine michango puder o winjore ine michango puder aleluya na dende ni honor aleluya aleluya na dende ni honor aleluya Alleluia Simba Alleluia Alleluia Amen basi tutaimba ule wimbo neno lako bwana stanza 1 2 and 3 alafu tutaweza kuomba Neno lako bwana ni sana lilo la tongoza lilo la tufunza adui wabaya wakikaribia neno ni bwana ni uli sana siku za daruba soma ukiomba neno lake bwana msaada sana Let us pray. Baba katika jina la Yesu, twakushukuru kipindi hiki na majira haya. Twasema ni asante kwa sababu neno lako ni kweli linatufunza, ni kweli linatufunza, ni kweli ya kwamba adui wabaya wakikaribia, neno hili linatulinda na ni silaha siku za dhoruba na siku za huzuni zinapokuja kama ya leo. Bwana tukiomba kwa neno lako hakika bwana unakuwa msaada kwetu jehova tunataka tulisikie neno toombo kakibariki kipindi hiki ukalibariki neno ambalo tutalisikia jehova likawe baraka ndani yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba amen basi tukae sote bwana Yesu asifiwe Nataka ni some neno la Mungu. Kutoka kitabu cha Wathesalonike sura ya nne mstari wa 14 nitasoma hadi mstari ule wa 18 Watoselenike wa kwanza sura ya nne mstari wa 14 hadi wa 18 nasema hivi Rusini nianze ule mstari wa 13 inasema lakini ndugu hatutaki msijue habari zao waliolala mauti msije mkauzunika kama na wengine wasio na matumaini maana ikiwa tuamini ya kwamba Yesu alikufa kafufuka vivyo hivyo na hao waliolala katika Yesu Mungu atawaleta pamoja naye kwa kuwa tawaambieni haya kwa neno la Bwana kwamba sisi tulio hai tutakaosalia hata wakati wa kuja kwake Bwana hakika hatutawatangulia wao waliokwisha kulala mauti kwa sababu Bwana mwenyewe atashuka kutoka mbinguni pamoja na mwaliko na sauti ya malaika mkuu na parapanda ya Mungu nao waliokufa katika Kristo watafufuliwa kwanza kisha sisi tulio hai tutasalia tutanyakuliwa pamoja nao katika mawingu ili tumlaki Bwana hewani na hivyo tutakuwa pamoja na bwana milele basi farijianeni 
kwa maneno hayo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nataka nitangulie kwa kusema ya kwamba jambo la kifo kila tunapofiliwa halizoeleki si jambo ambalo uh, ni rahisi wala maneno ya kifo hayajakuwa mepesi kila yafikiri wapo maana kusema ukweli kifo hakijaanza leo amen tangu mwanadamu wa kwanza yule adamu aweze kuasi katika le shamba la ade, edeni Mungu alimwambia adamu ya kwamba wewe ni mavumbi na mavumbini utarudi miaka na miaka maelfu ya miaka yamepita mwanadamu bado anafariki lakini si jambo rahisi wala kila kikija kifo hakizoeleki kila mtu ambaye ameonja kufiliwa huwa ana experience yake anapitia huwa kuna machungu yake anapitia huwa kuna huzuni yake anapitia huwa kuna uzito wake anapitia Niposa familia wamesimama hapa wakasema kwamba haikuwa rahisi lakini tunashukuru Mungu na nyinyi nyote kama na sisi kwa sababu kwa hivyo tumeweza na huu mchana wa leo japo si rahisi neno la Mungu katika ule mstari wa mwisho Paulo mtume anasema tufarajianeni kwa maneno ya Mungu Bwana sifiwe kwa hivyo niko hapa nimesimama ili nizungumze kuhusu faraja itokayo kwa Mungu. Mwambie jirani yako faraja itokayo kwa Mungu. Katika Watesalonike 4:13 paka 18, Paulo Mtume anazungumza maneno ya Mungu ili watu wafarijike kwa maneno hayo. Bwana sifiwe. Huu ulikuwa ni wakati gani? Huu ulikuwa ni wakati ambao wale Watesalonike walikuwa wanapoteza wapendwa wao siku baada nyingine wakati baada ya mwingine si kwamba watesaloniki walikuwa hawajui Mungu walikuwa wanajua kwamba yuko Mungu anaishi kisha walikuwa wakienda kanisani na kumwabudu huyu Mungu lakini kifo kilipokuwa kikifanyika kwao ilikuwa si jambo la kuzoeleka kwao ilikuwa si jambo rahisi lilikuwa ni jambo la kuhuzunika wakao wana maswali mengi wanajiuliza wanasema mbona Mungu achukue hao ambao tunawapenda na kwa enzi siku moja chungaji mwenzangu akahubiri akasema ya kwamba akasikia muhubiri akihubiri ya kwamba wale ambao wanafa siku nyingi ni wale ambao walikuwa na sifa nzuri alikuwa mzuri alikuwa mcheshi alikuwa mpole wao wazuri wazuri ndio wanaenda sasa wanausalia basi ni kina nani bwana Yesu asifiwe sana lakini hapa watosolanike nao wakaona si rahisi ya kwamba wazuri wao wanaenda wanasalia wao Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wanajiuliza ni kwa nini hawa wetu wema wanaenda na tunasalia sisi kila siku baada nyingine. Kisha wakawa wanajiuliza lakini huyu Yesu atarudi lini? Aangamize hiki kifo milele? Lakini Mtume Paulo katika maneno anayoyasema niliyoyasoma anaonyesha iko faraja itokayo kwa Mungu Bwana asifiwe faraja isiyofananishwa na ile ya mwanadamu na mchana wa leo nataka niseme ya kwamba hata ingawa jambo hili la kifo si rahisi na tunalipitia lakini nataka nilete habari ya kwamba iko faraja itokayo kwa Mungu faraja isiyofananishwa na ya mwanadamu Bwana asifiwe ni kweli kwamba Leo tuko hapa lakini kesho kesho kutwa na mtondogoo kama wasemavyo waswahili wa kule Mombasa pengine tunaweza tusiwe na hii jamii wakawa peke yao pale nyumbani. Lakini nataka niseme ya kwamba hata leo tuwe hapa kesho tukose kuwa na nyinyi hapa iko faraja itokayo kwa Mungu isiyofananishwa na ile ya mwanadamu. Bwana asifiwe. Nataka nizungumze kuhusu ahadi tatu za faraja ya Mungu ahadi tatu za faraja ya Mungu ambazo ahadi hizi zinatofautisha faraja ile ambayo mwanadamu anaitoa amen faraja ya Mungu haifananishwi na ile ya mwanadamu kwa sababu faraja ya Mungu jambo la kwanza ina ahadi ya matumaini yasioisha 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Yale ya mwanadamu huisha lakini ya Mungu ina ahadi ya matumaini yasioisha. Paulo mtume anazungumza mstari wa 13 anasema lakini ndugu hatutaki msijue habari zao waliolala mauti msije mkahuzunika kama na wengine wasio na matumaini. Ina maana anasema habari za wale waliolala mauti kwa sababu akizisema hizi habari hizi anapeana matumaini yale yanayotokana kwa Mungu yasioisha. Ahadi ya faraja ya Mungu ina ahadi ya matumaini yasioisha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Nataka niseme ya kwamba leo hii hata ingawa tunahuzunika, hata ingawa jamii inahuzunika, ni sawa tuhuzunike. Ni sawa tuhuzunike, lakini tusihuzunike kupita kiasi kwa sababu kuna matumaini katika ahadi ya Mungu inayotufariji. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kuna ahadi ya matumaini Mambo mengi tunapigana nayo katika ulimwengu huu kifo kikiwepo kimoja chapo mambo mengineyo ni magonjwa mambo mengineyo ni mambo magumu yanayotusumbua wakati mwingine hatupati usingizi tulalapo lakini tujue ya kwamba kuna ahadi ya matumaini katika Bwana jina la Bwana lipewe sifa ndugu zangu mchana wa leo nimesimama niwaletee habari ya kwamba kuna matumaini na Yesu ndiye tumaini lililo hai. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Tukimwamini Bwana Yesu anatupatia matumaini siku zote. Tukimwamini Bwana Yesu analeta matumaini ndani yetu kila wakati, kila saa, kila dakika. Amen. Yesu mwenyewe anasema, mimi ndiye njia ya ukweli na uzima. Hakuna mtu ataenda kwa baba isipokuwa kupitia kwangu. Huyu Yesu ndiye matumaini yetu. Anasema kwingine ya kwamba mimi ndiye nuru ya ulimwengu. Huwezi kuona sawa sawa katika ulimwengu huu kama hutavaa miwani za Yesu ama neno lake ndani yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Yeye anasema kwamba mimi ndimi chakula cha uzima. Anilae mimi ataishi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Tunakula vitu vingi wengine vya kuharibu mili. Tunakula vyakula ambavyo saa zingine tunafananishwa na wanyama. Wengine utafuna majani ambapo saa nyingine ukimwangalia sasa unajif, unafikiria huyu ndugu ama huyu ane... ni nani mbona ametafuna majani kama mbuzi? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Tunakunywa vitu saa zingine vinaharibu mwili. Paka serikali ambayo haiji kanisani saa yote saa yote wametambua wanasema ya kwamba tunapambana na pombe haramu vitu ambavyo vinaharibu mwili lakini nataka ni kualike siku hii ya leo kunaye Yesu ambaye anapeana matumaini anasema yeye ndiye chakula cha uzima na si mwili wake lakini neno lake unalipolifanya kuwa chakula utakuwa na uzima mwili wako hautaharibika bwana Yesu asifiwe sana anasema kwingine kwamba yeye ndiye ufufuo na uzima matumaini ya milele haya ya kwamba hata kifo hakivunji matumaini haya yaliyoko ndani ya Yesu akiwa yeye mwenyewe kuwa tumaini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ya kwamba katika Yesu hata ifike siku upumzike kama hivi, anasema yeye kwa sababu umemwamini na ndiye ufufuo na uzima atakufufua siku moja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Siku ya leo na kukaribisha umwamini Yesu ili uweze kupokea wokovu na matumaini haya ya milele na milele. Amen. Katika Warumi kumi, kumi tunaambiwa ya kwamba ukiwa unataka kupokea matumaini haya yasiyopingika ya milele na milele, kwanza muamini Yesu moyoni mwako na umkiri kinywani kwako kwamba yeye ndiye Bwana na mokozi na analeta haya matumaini ya milele. Amen. Maana tunaambiwa katika Warumi ya kwamba kwa maana kwa moyo mtu huamini hata kupata haki na kwa kinywa mtu hukiri hata kupata wokovu na matumaini ya milele. Bwana sifue sana. Kifo hiki cha huyu shujaa mzee wetu Eric wacha siku ya leo kiwe sababu ya wewe kupokea Yesu na kupokea matumaini yanayotoka kwa Yesu. Faraja ya mwanadamu haifananishwi na ile ya Mungu kwa sababu jambo la pili faraja ya Mungu ina ahadi ya kufufuliwa. Amen. Unajua siku hii ya leo tunaishi lakini kuna watu 
hawaamini ya kwamba kuna ufufuo. Kuna watu wanasema kwamba nitaenda Nairobi, nifanye biashara zangu, nipate mapesa mengi, nijivunjari vile ninavyotaka ama nijinunulie kila kitu ambacho ninachotaka, nijifurahishe mimi mwenyewe basi. Mimi nikifa, nishakufa na yangu yashaisha. Huko kwingine hakuna lolote. Maisha ni sasa. Mwingine anasema kwamba nitanunua mashamba, nitafanya mambo makubwa hapa na niwe mtu mkubwa hapa ulimwenguni. Na historia yangu itakuwa kubwa sana hapa ulimwenguni kwa sababu nikishakufa basi hakuna lingine. Nataka nikupatie hakikisho ya kwamba ufufuo upo. Bwana Yesu asifue sana. Ungekuwa hakuna kufufuliwa katika uzima wa milele leo hii singesimama hapa kuhubiri habari hizi kwako. Kusingekuwa hakuna ufufuo wa uzima wa milele hata huyu shujaa asingeifia imani mzee wetu Eriko Pio Mungu amlaze mahali pazuri pa faraja njema. Kungekuwa hakuna ufufuo wa uzima wa milele haungeona kasisi ndugu yangu daktari hapa George wala watumishi wa Mungu wala kwaya wala watu wakilitaja jina la Yesu. Nataka ni kuhakikishia ya kwamba ufufuo upo. Amen. Mstari wa 14 tunaambiwa kwamba maana ikiwa tuamini ya kwamba Yesu alikufa vivyo hivyo na hao waliolala katika Yesu Mungu atawaleta pamoja naye. Yaani atawafufua kwa maneno mengine. Amen. Yesu atawafufua. Na ninapozungumzia kuhusu fufuo, sizungumzi kuhusu fufuo sasa. Yesu alipokuwa katika ulimwengu huu alikuwa ana mwili, mwili kama wetu sisi. Kwa hivyo wale wote ambao walikuwa pamoja naye wakati huo wangekufa angewafufua kwa milki ya mwili ule. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Niposa tunasikia habari katika neno la Mungu ya kwamba Yesu alipotembea ha, kule Galilaya, alikutana na mwanamke amebeba mtoto wake anaenda kumzika, akagusa sanduku na akafufuka. Niposa tunasikia habari ya kwamba Yesu akasikia habari za Lazaro amekufa kaburini siku nne akaenda huko akiwa na mwili huu akamuita Lazaro kutoka kaburini akamfufua alipokuwa na mwili huu aliwafufua kwa mwili huu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana lakini Yesu alikufa akafufuka sasa amepaa juu mbinguni ameketi katika mkono wa kuuma Mungu Baba mwenye enzi ana mwili wa malaika leo Yesu yuko hapa lakini sisi hatumuoni kwa sababu hana mwili huu lakini yupo alifufuka ana mwili wa malaika kwa hivyo ninaposema kuhusu habari za ufufuo ni kwamba atawafufua wale wanaohifia imani lakini katika milki milki ya mwili ule wa malaika ambao yunao sasa Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Msari wa 15 tunaambiwa kwa kuwa tuambieni haya kwamba neno la Bwana kwamba sisi tulio hai tutakaosalia hata wakati wa kuja kwake Bwana hakika hatutawatangulia hao waliokwisha kulala mauti. Mzee Eric ametangulia lakini Yesu akija sisi kutufufua tunaoamini tulio hai hatutawatangulia hao waliolala. Wale waliolala katika imani kwanza kwa kwanza Biblia inasema kwamba watafufuliwa Alafu na sisi pia tutanyakuliwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Tunaoamini Kristo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunaambiwa ya kwamba kwa sababu Bwana mwenyewe atashuka kutoka mbinguni pamoja na mwaliko na sauti ya malaika mkuu na parapanda ya Mungu na waliokufa katika Kristo watafufuliwa kwanza kama mzee wetu opio. Amen. Nataka niseme ya kwamba Aha, faraja ya Mungu ina ahadi ya ufufuo. Leo muamini Kristo ikiwa hujamwamini Kristo upokee hii ahadi ya ufufuo katika uzima wa milele. Amen. Faraja ya Mungu sio kama ya mwanadamu kwa sababu jambo la tatu na la mwisho faraja hii ya Mungu ina ahadi ya kupumzishwa. Amen. Ina ahadi ya kupumzishwa. Mstari wa 17 tunaambiwa kisha sisi tulio hai tuliosalia baada ya wale waliolala kama mzeo pio kufufuliwa nasi tutaweza kunyakuliwa pamoja nao katika mawingu ili tumlaki bwana hewani na hivyo tutakuwa pamoja na bwana milele hawa ni wale ambao wamekufa wakiwa wameamini Kristo na wanatembea katika njia ya Kristo amen na neno kuwa pamoja na bwana ina maana kwamba 
watu hao waliokufa wakiwa wamemwamini Kristo watapumzishwa kutokana na taabu zao. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Nataka niseme ya kwamba hapo limwenguni kuna taabu nyingi sana. Wale ambao hawajamjua Kristo wanapitia taabu. Wana taabu zao. Wana taabu za kwenda kule kucheza mziki wa kidunia watoke huko usiku wa manane wakiwa wamelewa chopi. Wana taabu za kuvurumisha vita wapigane na watu. Wana taabu zao za kukasirikiana na kuendeleza chuki na kufanya mapambano ya kigaidi. Wana taabu zao. Wana taabu zao za kutafuta na kuinda zile mali ambazo mtu ametafuta kwa jasho lake. Waende wakamwibie kwa bunduki na marungu na visu wana taabu zao wana taabu zao za kuhangaisha watu usiku wakiwa wamelala wanatafuta nguvu za giza wawahangaisha usiku hizo ni taabu zao na sisi ambao tumemjua Kristo pia tuna zetu zetu ni kuamka asubuhi tumuombe Mungu twende tukafanye mapenzi ya Mungu twende katika hizi ibada tuje katika misiba tuhubiri tutembee nendo mirefu tuje tuhubiri Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Tuwe hatuna pesa, tumuombe Mungu atupatie pesa. Akitupatia pesa, hata ingawa tuna jamii, tujinyime ili tuweze kusaidia wengine. Hizi ni taabu zetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Lakini hizi taabu za wale walioamini Kristo zitapumzishwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ndani ya Kristo kuna kupumzishwa na taabu zetu zote. Asifiwe sana. Biblia nasema katika ufunua Yohana 14:13 ya kwamba Yohana akasikia sauti kutoka mbinguni ikisema andika heri wafu wafao katika Bwana tangu sasa naam asema roho wapate kupumzika baada ya taabu zao kwa kuwa matendo yao yafuatana nao amen wale wa, wanaokufa katika Bwana katika imani watapumzishwa na taabu zao maana matendo yao yatafuatana nao Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Bila tunavyozungumza matendo ya mzee wetu Opio, hayo matendo yamefuatana na yeye. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kuna kitu kimoja ndugu zangu hatuwezi kukizika, japo tutazika mwili wa mzee wetu Opio leo. Lakini kuna kitu kimoja hata tufanye nini? Yaani wewe upende usipende hatuwezi kukizika. Na kitu hiki ni tabia aliyoishi yule mtu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Leo hayupo mzee Opio. Mwili wake ndio uko hapa lakini kuna tabia ambayo tunaizungumzia yake tutamzika katika mchanga lakini tabia hiyo bado itakuwa inaishi pamoja nasi Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana upole utabasamu utuwema ucheshi bidii Bwana Yesu asifiwe tabia ya Yesu Kristo haijaweza kuzikwa bado inaishi pamoja nasi tabia ya Lazaro haijaweza kuzikwa bado inaishi pamoja nasi Tabia ya Ibrahimu baba wa imani haijazikwa bado inaishi pamoja nasi ingawa mwili wake ulizikwa amen Lakini tunaambiwa wanaokufa katika Bwana watapumzishwa Sasa jiulize ile tabia ambayo uko nayo leo hii je ni tabia ina gani Je ni tabia ya imani je ni tabia ya kumpendeza Mungu je ni tabia ya kutembea katika kanuni za Mungu je ni tabia ya kumuishia Mungu maishani mwako Wale wazee wetu wa kitambo kuna imani moja si sehemu ya kwamba tuaiamini sisi laki, hatuiamini lakini wana imani moja hao si mimi naiamini lakini wao wazee walikuwa wanaiamini wanasema kwamba mtu mbaya na tabia zake mbaya za kusumbua watu akifariki akishazikwa ile tabia huzunguka ikasumbua jamii hiyo ni hiyo ni imani si yangu tafadhali hiyo ni imani ya wale wazee bwana yesu asifiwe sana lakini ninaona wanazungumza kitu hapo ambacho ni cha kufikiriwa kidogo ya kwamba ikiwa una tabia mbaya ukizikwa ile tabia itabaki naishi. na kule wendako uenda na tabia hiyo na kule ufikako utatakaribishwa mahali pa pumziko ama mahali pa adhabu ya milele kulingana na hiyo tabia bwana Yesu asifiwe sana hapo ulimwenguni tuna tabia ya kufungua vitabu na kusoma na napenda kwa sababu hapa tuko na wasomi wengi hapa lakini hata huko juu mbinguni kuna vitabu vitafunguliwa. Tunaambiwa kitabu kimoja ni cha wale ambao majina yao yaliandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima, waliamini na wakatembea katika njia imani. Hao wakienda na hizo tabia zao watakaribishwa katika pumziko la milele. 
hapo hakuna kulia tena hapo hakuna uzuni tena hapo hakuna machozi tena hapo hakutakuwa na taabu tena bwana yesu asifiwe lakini wale ambao hapa tabia zao si njema na hawamtaki yesu wakienda wataenda na hizo tabia zao wakifika kule vitabu vitafunguliwa kama jina lako halitapatikana katika kile kitabu cha uzima bila shaka litakuwa katika kile kitabu cha mauti ya milele. Biblia inasema si mimi ya kwamba huyo atakaribishwa mahali paziwa la moto liwakalo moto hapo patakuwa na kilio na kusaga meno. Bwana sifue sana. Mchana wa leo Bwana amenituma kwako nisimame nihubiri habari za faraja ya Mungu. Faraja iliyo na matumaini. Faraja ambayo ina ahadi ya ufufuo faraja ambayo ina ahadi ya, ma, ya pumzisho siku ya leo pengine ni siku yako uweze kupokea Yesu kumwamini ili uweze kupokea ahadi hii je umesema moyoni mwako ya kwamba Mungu alikuwa na sababu na kifo cha mzee Eric ili mimi nipokee Yesu nataka nikuombee mchana wa leo upokee Yesu moyoni mwako umpokee kwa imani kwa eh, moyoni mwako na ukiri kwa kinywa chako ili upokee wokovu na uweze kupokea ahadi hizi hata kama utaishi Yesu anasema mimi ndio fufuo ifike mahali umepumzika atakufufua katika mwili wake wa mbinguni na utaingia katika ile hadi ya uzima wa milele inamisha kinywa chako eh, kichwa chako ili tuweze kuomba kwa pamoja ikiwa wewe unasema leo nataka nipatie maisha yangu kwa Kristo hebu regelea ombi hili nyumba nyuma yangu sema bwana Yesu ninakushukuru kwa neno lako Asante kwa kuwa unanipenda. Asante kwa kuwa faraja yako ni ya milele. Bwana ninakuja kwako, nimeamini faraja yako unipokee kama mwana wako. Unikubali sasa niwe mwana wako. Unisamehe dhambi zangu. Lifute jina langu Bwana katika kitabu cha mauti, liandike jina langu katika kitabu cha uzima. Asante Yesu kwa kuniokoa. Asante Yesu kwa kunikubali. Na tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu, tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya roho hizi ambazo zimekupokea na kukiri wewe. Jehova Mungu unamjua mtu zaidi ya vile ninavyomjua. Unajua hadi ndani ya moyo na roho ya mtu. Naomba ya kwamba mtu huyu aliyekupokea na kukukiri, Jehova ukamsimamishe, Bwana ukamtie nguvu Atembe hapo katika safari ya ukovu, Jehovo kamonekanie, umepushe kutokana na mabaya, mpatie kupiga vita vilivyo vizuri, vita vya ushindi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kwa sababu Bwana, juu mbinguni ni furaha, kwa sababu nafsi hizi zimekukiri malaika wanafurahia, niombe kwamba furaha hii ikawe kweli ndani ya maisha ya mtu huyu aliyesumbuka kwa muda mrefu. Jehovah kampatie furaha na amani na uzima unaotokana kwako na matumaini mengi. Akasimame na akashinde daima dawama. Asante kwa kuwa Bwana utasimama pamoja na ye na kazi za shetani zitakapojaribu kujinua kinyume na maisha yake, tumezikemea kwamba zishindwe katika jina la Yesu. Linda mtu huyu akawe imara daima. Na wote waliosikia neno hili, Bwana wasimamishe, wanaoamini na waliokwisha kupokea tayari, Bwana ukawalinde wakaendelee na safari ya okovu paka pale siku ambapo parapanda italia jina lako likapate kutukuzwa maana tumeomba kwa imani katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana wetu tuseme amen amen wewe ambaye umepokea Yesu tafuta kanisa uingie kama hapa unaishi na huna kanisa ingia St Mary's SK mchungaji ni St Paul's St Paul's SK mchungaji ni Reverend Dr George muone yeye uingie hapo na ndo Mungu na wale ambao tulikwisha kuokoka kitambo tukaze mwendo katika safari yetu ili tupige vita vilivyo vizuri Mungu awabariki sana Amina asante sana mchungaji kwa hilo neno tamu neno ambalo linaturejesha tuwe karibu na Mungu na Mungu aweze kukuzidisha neema uende uh, uendeleo kufanya kazi yake mzuri hivyo uh, wakati mchungaji alikuja kutupa neno tuliambiwa ya kwamba watu wa Kajulu ha? Kajulu eh uh, Odonjo Jo Kajulu kose Jo Kanyun Kanye Jo Kajulu Eh warwako Udonjo samakoro wasedhi mabor to unjok mwaluoro Anyalo miyo ngat
chiel mondo ubi uache wacha chiel maana wabro lemo ni family baada ya hiyo tutaombe alafu tutoe sadaka joka julu warwa ku e hata chiel atunyalo birote to ngata chiel moso kiwanja karibuni Yama ubiro yuak, yo game duto, welo duto mubiro ka, amosu no yi okwe uru, okwe uru kendo, e ani luonga ni filipo koth, ajaka julu, mabiro yuako ni mawa yuwa, ani wodo wadegi, ana timo ni gima na mos, timo ni gima sa enya. Weche tenya sae matieko. Kwa ndano kwa ngeyo. Kamuwa bro chope. Nyasae mungeyo. Magoma na chendro magruwoth nyasae. Koro aparo ni. Wawutho ka. Wanji mangeny. Aparo ni jo wagi ngato. Kwa ngato bro fulo rene. Bro fulo nyingi. Kaka koro useme ya wa. Ushu ukani nuwa uwo matenu. Bro ngata ngata nyalu fulo nyinge to bro wacho kakaen. Basi, newede, anyuwa lako do siyepe. Amoso uno kwe uru, anli ilu ngani fredi kutienu, kutuwa majaka julu kwae. Dolo maler matanyase, jokanesa, welo, o siyepe. Amoso uno kwe uru, anilu ngabrano tieno nyango, anuwudu kisumo kajulu. A biro mondo me akonywa ya kodi od. Basi o tulo makende watu nyasa ni mirembe. Pak nyasa abona sefesa na afuani amina kama. Bas o wamo are chokro kman manyasa yolosoni la nyamera griska. Kendo wanka wa kisumoto wa biro girambi rambi marwa o kuyo makende ne grace kachel genye tendu wa musedung ni nyasai momondo maki aneno kanya mako ka burito dala nyasai marito dala halaloe basi o o kwa dedi emangen an mawoyo ni lunga ni michael orimba ane choge odno kendo mano nyamera mane ot o wunge o uonwa matena so uonge e maduong koro kaka wa wetoka wanjo kisumo kataka julu wabiro e kuyo makende mo makonya mera to oganda wa moko bene ntie ge wachi dala wakacha koro kataka wa chiel to mano enye makaka nya sai no pango bwana sifu sana basi hapa ni tuelo no ber kendu ana unge weche mangeny ne joka julu ma obiro kate wang ne wachunge ge mondi ginge ni to nyare gi bendo biro kajulu te auru malu kajulu mo biro ko chungura chungate iru kamano iru kamana enya nyasayo medgwedo nyasachwe ogwe kachunga amo sojo kristo no pa kuru yesu wafuwa yuru kama haleluya ee agoni nyasai manyalo ni yuru kama anu nyasai na manota ya wako gulu wapi nki sumo kendo kelo wapi nge mka ee wabiru matek ni mondo wabiru wakugi nyaru wa grace mose wito jaode omiyore wabiru kama mondo wabedi yonene agoni nyasai manyalo ni yuru kama anu grace enu waya maenu Omiyo, kanya sao sekawe. Waonge kwa dawati. Nya sao sekawe ngate. Mondo diyo yue. Mano. Ginyo ilunga no mungi meri. Aha, kajulu. Kisumo. Nya sao sekawe. Mano, iruka mano. 
amoso chokro no kweuru mrembe aparoni an machunga ni okati wacho mangeny apa ni chogo seti gwe mora mora wali mo ni chogo an machunga ni londe wolto kwan an ko do ne je an baba bodwo baba ni londa bwa o kristo tewa agoni essa genya bro musenya bro jo Santeni sana. Uh, a worship chorus from the praise team. Uh, Kawakelo, uh, the family, but before that, we have Owen from the US. Where are you? Owen, please just come and say hi. And then we will pray with the family. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Owen Aringo. I'm representing my mother, Olivia Otambo. I'm here with my uncle, my uncle Isaac, Aunt Lucy, and Uncle James. Uh, we were very sad to hear that Babu had passed away. I didn't have much time to spend with him when he was alive. But I remember in 2017, I was with him in his house. We were talking, he would ask what I wanted to be when I grow up. I will tell him a pilot. Since that day, he will call me, how are you my pilot, how are you? Asking questions. I finished school, didn't become a pilot. But now, uh, I studied journalism. Still think he will be happy with that. But what I know is that my mother really loved him and would like to be here, but it wasn't possible. I saw somewhere that to be in the heart 
of the people you love is to never die. So may his soul rest in peace. Amen. We will invite the family to come close to where our brother Eric Opio lies. As the praise team gives us a worship chorus, alafu tuweze kuwaombea baada ya hiyo tutaleta sadaka as we do the viewing. Wachungaji mnaweza kuja na ministry team. Ewe unastahili kuabudiwa. Unaweza kuja. Unastahili kuabudiwa. Na stahili ye we ye na stahili kuabudiwa na stahili we na stahili kuabudiwa na stahili ye we ye na stahili kuabudiwa na stahili Ewe Yesu na sahili kuabudiwa na sahili na sahili kuabudiwa na sahili Yesu na sahili kuabudiwa na sahili na sahili kuabudiwa una sahili sifa bwana una sahili kuabudiwa una sahili bwana wa mabwana sahili kuabudiwa sahili ewe yesu una sahili kuabudiwa Baba tunakuabudu tunakupatia sifa na utukufu kwa sababu neno lako limesema ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu wa wajane na ni Mungu wa mayatima. Hivyo imani yetu katika neno hilo lako ni kwamba Bwana utasimama kwa ajili ya jamii hii ambayo imeachwa. Jehova tunaomba ya kwamba ukalitekeleze neno lako likawe kweli kwa jamii hii katika jina la Yesu wakati huu ambao Mungu amepatwa na msiba huzuni ambayo inapita kiasi Jehova ninaomba kwamba Mungu kasimame ukawafariji faraja zako zikavunje makali ya huzuni hiyo katika jina la Yesu wewe mwenyewe ingia ndani yao Jehova ukawe faraja ya ajabu ndani yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninaombea ukawapatie nguvu ya kusimama na kuendelea vizuri wapatie umoja katika jina la Yesu Kristo shetani asinuke kwa sababu ya kifo cha mzee akataka kuchukua sababu ya kutalanyisha jamii hii Jehova anapojaribu kwa njia zake za aina yoyote ile iwayo Mungu tumesimama kukataa kazi za shetani zikapate kushindwa katika jina la Yesu Jehova wewe ni Mungu wa umoja na upendo tunanena umoja na upendo ndani yao tunanena maendeleo mazuri tunanena kukawe na kumcha Mungu katika kiwango cha ajabu ndani yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo na wacha kupumzika kwa mzee ukawaunganishe pamoja wakawe kitu kimoja katika wewe katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunasema ni asante wacha bwana ndani yao ufalme badala ya uchungu mwingi Jehova ukaweke sauti na nania ya kushukuru wanapomkumbuka mzee wakashukuru ukaweka kushukuru kwa kiwango cha ajabu kushukuru kwa yale mema ambayo mzee alikuwa akifanya kushukuru kwa sababu ya imani ambayo mzee amepigania kushukuru kwa ajili ya mfano mzuri ambao mzee aliwaonyesha katika maisha yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo niombe kwamba Bwana utakuwa jua la haki usiku asubuhi na hata mchana na wakati wowote na wakiomba mfalme ukawasikie maombi yao kwa heshima ya mzee ambaye alifia imani na jina lako Bwana litainudiwa katika jina la baba la mwana na la roho mtakatifu tumia tuweze keti wakati huo unafanyika tuta kufungua uh, tuweze kufanya viwi tukileta sadaka zetu sadaka 
ambazo uh, tunaleta ni za familia kwa hivyo kama una jambo ungependa kusaidia familia hii uweze kuleta sadaka nzuri ambayo itawabakia na kuwasaidia kwa yale ambayo bado hayajakamilika praise team choruses Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna na atakuepo hapa hakuna Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Just a minute uh, naambiwa kuna wale ambao wangependa kutoka kutoa na Mpesa maybe you can give us an Mpesa number Uh, an Mpesa number from the family. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Mpesa number zero seven one four five one three one nine zero. Just hold on. <coughs> Okay, I'll just repeat the number. 0714-513-190. It will show grace of you. Thank you. We can continue singing. Na tukuje tuweze kuona mara ya mwisho ndugu yetu. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna na atakupoiba kuna
Ibishwa uh, Tunapoenda kule kaburini Familia watafuata nyuma Pombearas watabeba Alapu familia watatofuata nyuma Santeni Wale ambao walikuwa na net
on the on the pan as we go. I am the resurrection and the life. Mm. He who believes in me will live. Even though he dies, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Multitudes who, be, who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who led many to righteousness, like the stars forever and ever. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that in the end he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes, I and not another. How my heart yearns within me. In my father's house, there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have not told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. Mm. Lord Jesus Christ, through your own time in the grave, you made the graves of all believers sacred. May the body of our brother Eric Ophio lie peacefully in the earth, and may he participate in your resurrection through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labor for the deeds for their deeds will follow them. Therefore, trusting in God's abundant provision of grace and in his gift of righteousness, through the one person, Jesus Christ, we give the spirit of our brother here departed into the everlasting arms of God to make him to himself while we commit his body to the ground. Now, earth to earth, ashes ashes dust to dust for all the redeemed of the lord our sure hope is in the resurrection to eternal life through jesus christ our lord we shall change our perishable body so that it may be raised like his glorious body according to the working of his mighty strength which he exerted in christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand far above all rule and authority power and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. They are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple, and he who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. Never again will they hunger, never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat upon them, nor any scorching heat, for the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to the springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. And now, as our Savior taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. 
uh, familia wale ambao wanataka kurudisha mchanga unaweza wasaidia choir or praise team can be singing <laughs>
Sachani, the wonder God, Lord Maloy, Bobby, and Ye, Nani, Kwami.
Let us pray. Amen. Lord Jesus. You took away our burdens. At the cross, you said it was finished. At the cross, and on the third day, you gave us a new hope of life eternal. And so, Lord, today when we remember the cross, we know that in the next few times and the few days, we can rise again and reign with you. And so, Lord, we erect this cross in remembrance that death is not the end, but is a sign that Easter Sunday will come and we shall all come back and rejoice with you. And we erect this in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Salaba ndiyo asili ya wema Nitatua mziko wako Nina uzima fura Fura hili mbako Haleluya Wana Yesu wa sifi I want to thank Jokumano Kunyogur. Jokumano Kunyogur, eke u? Wewe vijana, Jokumano Kunyogur. Wale ambao wa tusaidia. Wanuka. Biuruka. Tunasema asante. God bless you, asante to you, my friend. Tunasema asante sana. Wale mwaiko, unu uyala yala. Wale mwaiko, unu uyala yala. Emo miwacho ni erokama. Erokuwa. Yasayo kwe. Yasayo kwe. God bless all of you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.